We believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com. That's WEABenefits.com. WEA member benefits. is a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Any team can be conquered with the right playbook. It takes human ingenuity to craft and adapt the plays that will defeat even the strongest opponents. The moves that dominate on the field, the court, the ice. And cancer treatment is no different. That's why UW Health Carbone Cancer Center uses ingenuity to combat complex cancers. As the number one cancer hospital in Wisconsin, we're proud to write the playbook on fighting cancer so you always have the number one team in your corner. UW Health. Remarkable. Hey Badgers, spring is here, which means the annual Crazy Lakes Classic is just around the corner. Sign up today for the 8K run or two-mile walk on April 27th and celebrate 175 years of UW-Madison. The Crazy Lakes Classic is presented by J.D. McCormick Properties, Odyssey Greek Yogurt, Mueller Sports Medicine, and NBC15. For more information and to sign up, visit crazylakesclassic.com. That's crazylakesclassic.com. It's Ford Truck Month. Are you ready? And we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series. Are you ready? Featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. Are you ready? Celebrate with us, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Based on 1977 to 2023 industry reported total sales. Hey, Badger fans, Tony Drake with Drake & Associates, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. How do you prepare for the big game? You strategize, right? Well, retirement is your ultimate big game. And without a solid plan, it's like stepping onto the court without practice. But here's the game changer. Claim your Retirement Ready Toolkit for free from Drake & Associates. Just text Bucky to 262-600-2782. That's Bucky to 262-600-2782. Our Retirement Ready Roadmap is your playbook for financial success. Let's slam dunk your retirement goals together because at Drake & Associates, we're your winning strategy for a financial game plan. Drake & Associates is an independent investment advisory firm that offers different investment vehicles. All insurance products are backed by the issuing insurance company. This commercial is provided for informational purposes only. Game coverage continues. Wisconsin at James Madison, round one of this NCAA tournament. The Badgers, the number five seed. The Dukes, a 12 seed. This is a South regional game. And for the keys to it, we turn it to Brian Butch. I think first you have to stop transition. This is a team that scores in James Madison 84.4 points a game, which is 10th in the country. If you're scoring that many Next, I'm going to talk about the defense, mainly ball screen defense, because that's what they're going to get in. They're going to spread it. They're going to play ball screen. The reason it's important is because this team averages 16.4 assists. So not only do they get in the ball screen, but now all of a sudden they're spraying it out. That ranks 24th in the nation. That's going to be crucial. And then we all know, we've talked a lot about it, but it's that three-point line and what they've got to do. This team is an extremely good three-point shooting team. They shoot it at 35, 36.5%, which is nine or 48th, excuse me, in the country. So you're going to have to make sure you close out the shooters, handle the actions that they're getting, take care of those things. Last thing I'll say as far as we've talked a lot about what, how do you have to guard James Ness. Now you got to worry about what you do, and that's pound the ball inside, take advantage of the height advantage, be the more physical team, set the tone, and dominate in the paint. It's going to be interesting, uh, some of these matchups with Stephen Crowell, where he's not looking up at a 7-4 Zach Eady, but even Stevie talked about there will be some different challenges. They may not be tall, but they, they have a, you know, the, the skill set is considerable. But on the other side, kind of to your point, Butchie, 
I don't know how many seven footers James Madison runs across in the course of the season. Well, well exactly, and they're not going to. I mean, even the you, know, you look at Michigan State, the game that they won, like they're, they've had some, but not not a bunch at all. And, a, and I think that's where they're going to throw different looks, especially if Steve gets going early. And that's where Wisconsin's got to be aware. It, it's it, the, these matchups always are weird because they throw the kitchen sink at you, and you got to be able to adjust to it. You haven't seen it most most big teams, Big Ten teams. Don't throw the kitchen sink at you because they don't have to. Mm-hmm. So you're not you haven't prepared for it for a long time. What does this Wisconsin team do if James Madison does it? Like I said, they're mainly a man to man team defensively. But if Steve gets going, they're going to do different and, and throw different looks at him. Mark Byington is in his fourth year as the head coach of the Dukes. Played his college ball at UNC Wilmington for Jerry Wainwright, who's a very good player, was Byington. He was a head coach at Georgia Southern from 2013 to 2020. Uh, he spent time as an assistant at the College of Charleston, was a director of ops at Virginia back in the day. But he's carving quite a niche, and now this is his fourth year at the helm of James Madison. Madison brings the team to Brooklyn, having won 13 in a row, 31 and three overall. Finished second to Appalachian State in the Sun Belt regular season, but went on to win the conference tournament and thus getting the automatic bid into this NCAA tournament. Well, that's your uh, keys to the game. We're back with the starting lineups presented by the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. And here's Heather with the weather. Well, it's beautiful out there, sunny and 75, almost a little chilly in the shade. Now, let's get a read on the inside of your car. It is hot. You've only been parked a short time and it's already 99 degrees in there. Let's not leave children in the back seat while running errands. It only takes a few minutes for their body temperatures to rise. And that could be fatal. Cars get hot fast and can be deadly. Never leave a child in a car. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. The possibility of lung cancer can be pretty scary, especially if you're one of approximately 8 million current or former smokers at high risk. That's why SaveByTheScan.org wants you to know that now there's a breakthrough low-dose CT scan that can detect lung cancer early, and it only takes 60 seconds. You stop smoking, now start screening. For an easy quiz to see if you're eligible, visit SaveByTheScan.org. It could save your life. SaveByTheScan.org is brought to you by the American Lung Association's Lung Force Initiative and the Ad Council. Let's get to the UW Health Injury Update. UW Health and Sports Medicine treating the Badgers, treating you, everybody up and running. It was a very physical Big Ten Conference tournament. The Badgers playing four games in four days. We saw Tyler Wall get banged up. Max Klesman needed time on the exercise bike. Chucky Hepburn missed the Northwestern game. Uh, but the, the way it was described to be best, you know, for this time of year, they're they're pretty good. They're pretty good. So we'll see how this goes. Knock on wood that they'll all be good to go start to finish, and we'll be good to go as long as the Badgers are playing. You, you're always hurt. Yeah, you, you had something this it's time March. of year, didn't you? you uh, yeah, yeah, right. Well, I've had a couple. You're not hurting. You're not playing, no. right? And my elbow's in place, so we're good to go. <laughs> that's that's the best news. Uh, <laughs> that is yep, it's back in place. We're good. <laughs> that's your UW Health injury update. UW Health Sports Medicine treating the Badgers, treating you. Now for your starting lineups first for the Sun Belt Tournament champion James Madison Dukes we mentioned coach Byington in his fourth year at the school his record 81 and 35 12th year overall 219 times his teams have come out on top the front line made up of TJ Bickerstaff Bernie's grandson, JB's nephew, if that last name rings a bell. TJ is 6'9", 220-pound grad student. Started his career at Drexel, a couple of years at Boston College. He's from Atlanta, Georgia, the Sun Belt Conference. Newcomer of the year at 13.5 points and 8.5 rebounds a game. Julian Wooden is a 6'8", fifth-year senior from Roanoke, Virginia. Just shy of 10 points a game, a little better than three rebounds. In the backcourt, the Sun Belt Conference Player of the Year, Terrence Edwards, 6'6", redshirt junior from Atlanta, Georgia, 17.5 points, 4.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists per game. Not a transfer, a team that has several of them, but he has been about player development within the program. Last year, he was the sixth man of the year in the league, and he's the Conference Player of the Year, as I said, this season. Noah Friedel, a transfer from South Dakota State, was with the Jackrabbits for three years, now in his second 
second year at James Madison. Averages 12 points, 5.5 rebounds a game. Has made a big jump in his three-point shooting last year in the low 30s. This year, 38%. Two-thirds of his shot attempts are from beyond the three-point line. And Xavier Brown, a 6'2 sophomore from Williamsburg, Virginia, at 6.5 points per game. Uh, he was in the starting lineup. But got into the starting lineup by late January. He was coming off. His career high in the conference tournament championship game at 21 points and 10 rebounds against Arkansas State, hitting five of six from the three-point line, doing all of his scoring in the first half of that conference championship game. For Greg Guards, Wisconsin Badgers, same starting five as he has had all but one game this season. That will be Tyler Wall up front, 6'9", grad student out of Lakeville, Minnesota. About 11 points, 5.5 rebounds a game. Steven Crow, the 7-footer from Egan, Minnesota. 11 points, 7 rebounds, better than 2 assists per game. A.J. Storrs, 6'7", sophomore out of Rockford, Illinois. 17 points a game. He averaged 22.5 per in the Big Ten tournament. Max Klesman, 6'4", junior from Nina. 9.7 points, two rebounds a game. He was 10 of 21 from three in the conference tournament, going four out of six in the tournament championship game against Illinois. And Chucky Hepburn, who was just electric in Minneapolis, he averaged 17 and a half a game in the conference tournament. 6'2 junior from Omaha enters this NCAA tournament at 9.3 a game, three and a half rebounds, nearly four assists per contest, and better than a three to one assist to turnover ratio. Matter of fact, this season he is at eight different games where he has been without a turnover. And among his career milestones, he became the 50th Badger to reach the 1,000-point total. Did that during the conference tournament in Minneapolis. And those are your starting lineups brought to you by the Wisconsin Department of Transportation. Well, Butchie, March 22nd has been pretty good for the Wisconsin Badgers here in this era of being tournament regulars. It was 21 years ago today in Spokane that Freddie Owens hit a three with one second left, capping the most impressive comeback for Wisconsin in tournament history, a one-point win against Tulsa. Ten years ago today in front of one of the most electric crowds I can ever remember at the Bradley Center in Milwaukee, Ben Brust hitting a go-ahead three late as Wisconsin rallied to beat Oregon. And in 2008 in Omaha, your guy Greg Steensma at the game of his career. Game of his career, yes. Against Kansas yes. State, Michael Beasley, and getting you guys to the Sweet 16. So see if they can add to that here tonight. What do you uh, say? I think it sounds great to me. By the way, Freddie's shot is not talked about nearly enough. Thank you. Not nearly enough. Like... That's why I tweeted it. That is, but I, well, I know, but I saw it. I'm like, yeah, you're exactly right. Like, that is a shot that changed, changed the trajectory of the program. As far as, oh, yeah, it's normal for Wisconsin to get to a Sweet 16. It's normal to do these things. That was the start of all of that. I, I know 2000, they made the Final Four. I get that, but it's just. That was a shot that was remarkable. Yeah, Badgers were the outright Big Ten champs that season, and Tulsa was trying to carve out a little Cinderella story. It beat Dayton in the first round, but a double-digit seed led Wisconsin by 13 points with three and a half minutes to play, and the Badgers rallied the uh, the best assist I can think of in Devin Harris's college career because uh, everybody was locked in on old boy 34, and he found Freddie Owens in the left corner. If he misses it, the season ended oh. in Spokane, but he made it, so the season extended to Minneapolis the following week in the Sweet 16. So, yeah, we'll see if the Badgers can add another chapter to some magic the program has created on March 22nd. The opening tip presented by Odyssey Greek Yogurt is just moments away. Jumpstart your day with thick, creamy, all-natural Greek yogurt with real flavorful fruit. Odyssey Greek Yogurt. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. 
Hey friends, Matsa Matt here for Brew Pub Lots of Matsa Pizza. Does it seem like you're camping in the forest of complaints when it comes to your kids and dinner time? Phrases like, what even is that? And, we're having that again? Or, seriously, are getting tossed around like a frisbee at the beach. I know you want to break free from the barrage of bemoaning, so toss in a Brew Pub Lots of Matsa Pizza for dinner tonight. That thin crust, delicious sauce, and mountain of mozzarella will have the kids singing your praises at dinner time. Snag a Brew Pub Lots of Matsa Pizza today from the freezer section in your local grocery store. How do you master the game of basketball? With ingenuity. By creating new opportunities to turn post-ups into layups, spin moves into easy steals, press breaks into fast breaks. At UW Health, we use the same ingenuity to treat injuries. We build a team of the greatest minds in sports medicine constantly innovating for the future of sports treatment. As the Badgers' official team doctors, we're dedicated to delivering advanced care every day so any athlete can stay on their A game. UW Health. Remarkable. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, home of the Big Win and Madison Casino Guru, is transforming guests into winners. Making an ordinary day into a big win day is easy with a 95% average payout. And with over 140 daily jackpots, the number of people winning has never been bigger. So what are you waiting for? Escape to Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison for your next big win. Ho-Chunk Gaming Hey, Badger fans, ready to make a career move that's sure to score big? Join our winning team at UW-Madison. From accountants and chefs to painters and veterinarians, we've got a diverse roster for all skills. As one of the largest employers in Wisconsin, we offer competitive salaries, state group health care, and opportunities to level up your talents. That's what you can expect when you work with Bucky at UW-Madison. Join our dedication to innovation and the Wisconsin idea. Apply today at jobs.wisc.edu slash Bucky and score big with UW-Madison. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace! SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Listen up, Badger fans. Are you looking to save money while also saving the planet? Well, you can do just that with Everlight Solar, the largest residential solar company in Wisconsin. With our zero out-of-pocket program, any homeowner can win with solar energy by simply shifting what you already pay for power to pay for solar panels instead. Visit everlightsolar.com today to schedule your no-cost consultation. With zero out-of-pocket along with generous tax incentives and rebates, it's a no-brainer for any homeowning Badger fan. Everlight Solar, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. On the Badger Sports Network from Learfield, Badger basketball is on the air. It's time to turn up for tip-off on Wisconsin. Plesman off the right wing, and the lane goes up left hand. Good off the glass. Snaps off the three, right side. Book it. Chucky Hepburn for three. Crowd to the rim. Slam dunk. Badger basketball is brought to you by Fabic Cat, your cat equipment dealer throughout Badgerland. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison and Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells, proud casino partners of UW Athletics. And by Menards, save big money at Menards, proud partner of Badger Basketball. Tip-off is just moments away. Live from Brooklyn, New York, the Badgers, Badgers. the Dukes. Dukes. This is the NCAA Tournament. The Wisconsin Badger postseason is presented by Everlight Solar, save money save the planet let's go courtside here's the voice of the badgers matt lapay from barclays center in brooklyn new york alongside brian butch our engineer dave mccann and mike henderson back at our network studio this is matt lapay we welcome you to basketball and we welcome you to the 2024 in daa tournament the 27th all-time appearance for the wisconsin program We've now been in this dance 23 of the last 25 times they have had this NCAA tournament. It never gets old. You never take it for granted. And finally, after a long wait, settle in. A little late night with the Badgers. Butchie, how would you have uh, killed the day filling up your time, getting ready for a late night tip? 
Well, I would have got a couple of naps in. I know the boys <laughs> went for a walk, which would have been forced upon us. But this, nobody likes sitting around and waiting. And that being said, you're playing in the NCAA tournament. It doesn't matter if it's morning, if it's afternoon, if it's nighttime. It doesn't matter. This is what you want. This is what you dream for as a kid. And now it's all right in front of you. And as Greg Gard mentioned in our, in our pregame conversation, with this team having gone through the you know the meat grinder of four games in four days, the physical games of the Big Ten tournament, every hour probably matters. I mean, they, these guys were sore coming back home, physically sore coming back home from Minneapolis. So young kids stay up late. You know, it's like getting past my bedtime, but I'm not playing, so it doesn't matter. These guys, they're fine, aren't they? They're more than fine, and they're fine for a couple of reasons. Number one, they've dreamed of it as a, as a kid. Number two, a lot of these guys, this is the first time. Yes. You're talking about it's the first time for A.J. Stewart, the first time for Max Klesman. Like, that's a big deal. Now, part of me... It concerns me a little bit because of the emotions. Yes. I remember my first NCAA tournament. I was a freshman. I'm looking around like, what an atmosphere we're in. Like, this is what it's supposed to be about. And then I realized, like, hey, stop looking around. There's a game going on. Like, this, yeah. like get back to what you're supposed to be doing. And it's just, it's human nature for your first one. Now, I think these guys, they played in big enough games. They understand it. And, and they'll get ahead right away here. But it just, it is. It's the reality of what the NCAA tournament is. This is all different. This is a sellout here in Brooklyn. Like, it's awesome. Yeah, this is, you know, a lot of times these early afternoon games in the NCAA tournament could uh, have all the atmosphere of a scrimmage. Um, it's full here tonight. And there is a good atmosphere for the first game, Vermont and Duke. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful arena. There are those who will tell you this is as nice of an arena as there is. Obviously, Pfizer Forum is extremely is extremely good as well. A lot of good NBA arenas. But this place, this is great. It's, a, it's a resounding thumbs up, and it's been that way from the beginning of, of, of when the Nets started playing here. It's, it, and it's great for everything. I, just, I had to look up, and I realized there was a Jay-Z Brooklyn. Eight, eight sold-out shows at this place <laughs> banner. They got a banner for everything. How, how many of those shows were you here for? Oh, zero. Uh, uh, I'll okay. have to put on the bucket list. <laughs> this is uh, Badger staying right in Manhattan. I mean, you've been all over the world playing basketball, but you're kind of exploring New York City for the first time, aren't you? Oh, I was today. I went down and saw the bowl. There you go. Oh, absolutely. There you go. So, <laughs> no, I had, But that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Embrace what the NCAA tournament is. As a player, you did it. As you know, now on this side of it, that's what what it is. And, and now, finally, it's game time. Well, this is why you're here, to go and advance to the next round. It's all right in front of you, and that's all you ever want as a player. And Just Duke, give me a chance. Yep, and Duke will be waiting. The winner of this game will match up with John Shire's Blue Devils at some point on Sunday here in Brooklyn. Joe Lindsay, Bill Covington, Todd Austin are your officials. The Badgers have the five seed. We'll have the home white uniforms and the Cardinal trim. James Madison in the road purple with the white and gold trim. So we mentioned 840 was the approximate tip. You know, a lot of times these things could go well past the top of the hour, but this with a 850 central time tip, not all bad. No, you'll take this. And I say that because of schedule for the players. You know, they got here super early. They left their hotel and got here in good time after they needed more than an hour to get here yesterday for the media session of the open practice. But it was maybe half the time getting from the hotel to the arena. But better to be waiting here with lots of space than sitting in a crowded bus. So here we are. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's do it. Julian Wooden, Stephen Crowell will jump center. Crowell the seven-footer. Wooden, 6'8". The Badgers and the Dukes. Wisconsin and James Madison. Here in Brooklyn, New York, round one of this NCAA tournament. As the crowd settles in, the officials get everyone lined up. Get the go-ahead from... 
the television folks, and we are playing basketball. Toss and tap to Wisconsin. Badgers move to our left, and we are underway. Chucky Hepburn gets a high screen from Stephen Wall. Right of the circle, throws it out the wall at the top. Feeds Max Klesman left point, dribbles to the free throw line. Soft bounce intended for Wall. It's deflected by Wooden, stolen away. Turnover, Wisconsin. Xavier Brown, right side of the front court. This is a team that gets nine steals per game. Brown against Hepper and high screen Bickerstaff. Brown between the arcs, gives off to Friedel. He can release it quickly. Store has the assignment off the screen. Three in the air, Friedel. Good. And it's 3 nothing. James Madison. AJ's got to get over that screen. You know he's a shooter. Here's Chucky Hepburn for Wisconsin. Opening minute, 3 0 the Dukes. Store on the left wing. Edwards defending. Skip pass Klesman, right corner. Friedel comes out on Max. Klesman throws it out to Hepburn. Chucky at the top of the circle. Wheels at the crowd. Fakes the three. Goes in the wall. Deflected away. Ball is loose. Hepburn gathers. Seven to shoot. Chucky on the right wing. Five to shoot. Hepburn fades. Flips right wing. Short no good. Whistle inside. Foul call. This will go against James Madison. And it goes against T.J. Bickerstaff. And I think that's the matchup with Bickerstaff. Can he handle Stephen Grohl? Not just on the block, but offensive rebounding opportunities. All those little things. Or does he get in foul trouble early? One early foul here. Good sign for Wisconsin. That burn baseline right will inbound. He'll lob it out to Crow. Catches high on the right. Minute and change gone by. 3 0 James Madison. Tyler Wall catches at the center circle. Wooden is out on him. Shot clock at 10. Wall out between the arcs. Throws to Store. Blasting off the right wing in the lane. Off balance shot. Good for A.J. Store. Leaning left. But they to look easy, and that gets the Badgers on the board. 3-2 James Madison, a minute and a half gone by. Xavier Brown throwing to Edwards. Outside left, Klesman draws the assignment of the Southern Belt Conference Player of the Year. High screen to Bickerstaff. Jump stop in the lane, feeds Brown, whips it to Wooden, back to Brown. Three shot right corner is too long, no good. Crowl the rebound, good box out. Now a Hepburn, a lead feed to Klesman. Left side line of the front court. Max off the wall screen, leaves it for Crowl, rotates Hepburn. Chucky now to the top. He'll toss it to Storm. AJ off the right wing, almost dragging the pivot foot, shovels it inside. Side. Crowd catches. Single coverage picker staff. The double now from Edwards and a bad pass stolen away by Wooden. Another Wisconsin turnover. Bickerstaff front court in the lane and he throws one up. Good. Will it count? That's the decision. I think yes, they'll say it yes. It will. It come. does. And they get Max Klesman for the foul. And and one coming up for James Madison. So the Wisconsin with a couple of early turnovers. Bickerstaff the bucket. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, man, you talked about it. They average nine steals, 16th in the nation, James Madison. And you've got to take care of it. Steve gets off his feet in the post, and that's where the turnover happened. Bickerstaff, a 62% free throw shooter. Free throw is in the air, and it's too long. No good. Crowd the rebound. 5-2 James Madison. Two minutes, 10 seconds gone by. Pepper in front court, right side against Xavier Brown. Drives right lane line and lost the ball. Another turnover. Here's Brown up the middle front court, weaving off to the right. Throws to Wooden up top. Rotates Friedel. Open three left side. Around and out. No good. Rebound back tap. Wooden is there. Low on the left. Push it up over Wall. Wall got a hand on it and gets the rebound. Here comes Wall. A bounce to store. Went behind him. And that's turnover number four for Wisconsin. Out of bounds to James Madison. Call. Calm down, boys. Calm down. I we talked a lot about it the first four minutes. We've seen way too many turnovers. Take a deep breath. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Two and a half minutes gone by. 5-2 James Madison. Jalen Carey, 6'8", freshman, 245 pounder in the lineup now for the Dukes. Here's Edwards in the lane, spinning, fades, fires, good for the right lane line. And a good start for James Madison, 7-2 the score, not quite three minutes in. Hepburn throws to Crow, top of the circle, one dribble, fakes the hand off the store. He'll toss the wall, rotates Klesman on the right side. Klesman in the wall, low on the right against Wood. Now the double from Friedel, pried it away, ball loose, out of bounds to Wisconsin. And the Badgers very loose with the basketball in this early stage of the game. John Blackwell will come in for Wisconsin, and he will replace A.J. Store. Man, and this is the biggest thing is just whether this. You'll get your, you'll get your back. Like it, you'll get back to where you're playing. And bounce pass to Crowell. Shot clock at 10. He'll throw it to Tyler Wall. He'll feed Hepburn. Chucky turns. Top of the arc. Shot blocked by Brown. Comes down to Carey. Feeds Brown with Crowell back. Brown goes up. Low on the left. No good. Carey the rebound. Out fighting Klesman. Knocked out of bounds. It'll belong to James Madison. So 
16-38 left of the first half. 7-2 James Madison leading Wisconsin. The Badgers already with four turnovers. Terrence Edwards will inbound for the Dukes. Four turnovers and no rhythm on offense. Inbounds pass Wooden. He'll throw it to Friedel. Catch and shooting a three. In and out. No good. Hepburn the rebound for Wisconsin. Halfway down it popped out. Chucky. Right side of the front court feeds Tyler Wall. Rotates to Klesman. Left point. Dribbles to the top. Leaves it for Crow. And Wall goes to the floor hard. Weak side. Now he'll catch at the top of the circle. Whips it to Klesman. 12 to shoot. Max. One hand pass to Crow. He's with Carey. And again, Wall goes to the floor. He's been dropped a couple of times. They're going to get Wooden for the foul. That'll be his first. And it's two or three times now that James Madison has been into Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to the way that Rutgers guards, right? Just watch it film. Very, that's why you just got to keep cutting. You can't worry about them holding. You'll, you cut hard, you'll get the call, but you can't worry about it. Hepburn, baseline left inbounds to Nolan Winter, who's checked in. Now the Chucky left corner, out the Klesman between the circles. He'll send it to Winter, high on the right. Carey defending him. Now Klesman versus Friedel. Shot clock is at 8. Max. Right hand dribble. Right of the lane. Pull up jump. No good. And the rebound of Terrence Edwards of James Madison. With more than 4 minutes in. 7-2. James Madison out on top. Edwards with Blackwell defending. Edwards. One pump. Leans in. Lefty shot. Around and out. No good. Tipped up. No. Hepburn clears for Wisconsin. Chucky brings it up the left sideline of the front court. Picked up by Michael Green, who checked in the lineup. Slips a pass to Winter. Lost the ball. Got it back. He's down on the floor. And they pry it loose. Turnover again. That's five of them as Carey sends it ahead to Michael Green. Green slips it to Carey in the lane. Up and in over Wall. 9-2 James Madison. And Greg doesn't need a timeout now because he's going to get one at the media. He's got to save it. 15-18 left first half. Hepburn right side for Wisconsin. Chucky around a wall screen. Throws to Winter. Rotates to Klesman left side against Friedel. Crowding Max. And a little bump and a play on. 12 to shoot. Wall out front. Feeds Blackwell on the right side. Drives the baseline. Blackwell low on the right. Up. Missed the chip shot. Rebound. Grab by Jalen Carey of James Madison. Nothing going right early for Wisconsin. Here's Green. Runs it out to Edwards. Right corner. Good close out by Wall. Now Friedel up top. Loops it back to Edwards. He's with Klesman. Knocked it away out of bounds. It'll belong to James Madison. First media timeout. Early advantage to the Dukes. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Alliant Energy. Visit AlliantEnergy.com to see how Alliant Energy invests in solutions for clean, reliable energy now and in the future. And by Cleary Building Corp. We protect what you value. Visit ClearyBuilding.com to see the Cleary difference. 1444 left of the first half. James Madison 9, Wisconsin 2. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Get the last roof you'll ever need right now with Steel Roofing from Menards. Steel Roofing offers the best wind resistance and superior hail resistance. It's the choice of more and more homeowners in the Midwest. Steel Roofing is available in 20 colors in cut to your length panels for fast installation. Plus, get free estimates fast in store or online. Check out more of our great deals going on now at Menards and Menards.com. Save big money at Menards. Hey friends, Mott's Matt here for Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza. Does it seem like you're camping in the forest of complaints when it comes to your kids and dinner time? Phrases like, what even is that? And, we're having that again? Or, seriously, are getting tossed around like a frisbee at the beach. I know you want to break free from the barrage of bemoaning, so toss in a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza for dinner tonight. That thin crust, delicious sauce, and mountain of mozzarella will have the kids singing your praises at dinner time. Snag a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza today from the freezer section in your local grocery store. Hey Badgers, spring is here, which means the annual Crazy Lakes Classic is just around the corner. Sign up today for the 8K run or two-mile walk on April 27th and celebrate 175 years of UW-Madison. The Crazy Lakes Classic is presented by J.D. McCormick Properties, Odyssey Greek Yogurt, Mueller Sports Medicine, and NBC15. For more information and to sign up, visit crazylakesclassic.com. That's crazylakesclassic.com. It's Ford Truck Month. Are you ready? And we're celebrating 47 years as the best selling trucks in America with special once a year offers on Ford F Series. Are you ready? Featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. Are you ready? 
Celebrate with us, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Based on 1977 to 2023 industry reported total sales. This broadcast of the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Championship is authorized under broadcast rights granted by the NCAA through Westwood One. It is intended solely for the private, non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly prohibited. Before we move on, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification, 10 for an ID. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. James Madison, 1440 left of the first half. Duke's ball, green off the screen, left of the lane. And now he retreats as Hepburn now trying to get up and get into him. Behind the left is green. Now picked up by Carter Gilmore in the lineup of the switch. Here's Raekwon Horton down the lane, throws it up well off the mark, but a foul. And Raekwon Horton, 6'6", junior, will step to the free throw line. This is James Madison's first chance at points that aren't off turnovers. All nine of James Madison points so far off of Wisconsin turnovers. Of which they have had five of them. Raekwon Horton averages about seven points a game. First free throw is good, a 69% free throw shooter. Julian Wooden will check in for Noah Friedel. 10-2, James Madison. We are five and a half minutes in. Obviously not the start Wisconsin wanted. Offensively, the ball hasn't moved that well like we've seen in Minneapolis. You've got the first media under your belt. Now move that ball a little bit more. Find second, that rhythm. Second free throw off the bracket. Store clears the rebound, brings it to the front court, throws to Hepburn, left point, darts it into Crow. Left block, left shoulder turn, up right hand. There you go. Steven Crow with his first points, 10 4, the Dukes. Just calms everybody down. Get the ball in the post. Slow it down. Michael Green gets around Hepburn to the front court in the lane. Pass deflected, trying to run it down. Black one on the floor. Green comes up with a loose ball. Whips it left corner to Edwards, and he'll walk it out to the left wing. Blackwell getting up into him. Now Edwards drives in the paint, pushed it up, and in. Terrence Edwards has four. The lead is eight again for James Madison. And he's really good in that pick and roll situation. Very athletic wing, Terrence Edwards. 12-4, James Madison. 13-40 left in the first half. Blackwell being hounded by Edwards, throwing to Gilmore right of the center circle. Wooden is up on Gilmore. Carter on the dribble, throws to Blackwell. Right side, a very aggressive man-to-man -man defense from James Madison. And yet another turnover as a pass goes off the hands of Hepburn. And out of bounds, six turnovers for Wisconsin. Kamari McGee, Tyler Wall will come in as Hepburn and Gilmore will sit down. And six is such a high number for a team that only averages 9.7 on the year. Mm -hmm. And they're careless right now. 13-24 left in the half, 12-4 James Madison. Green, hard left hand dribble to the free throw line, leans in, 10-footer, no, but a foul. And Michael Green will go to the free throw line. As they get Kamari McGee for the foul, that is his first. Green doesn't get to the foul line much. 16 of 25 for the season. Transfer from Robert Morris. He has started 18 games for the Dukes this season. Mostly early. First free throw is no good. As a team, James Madison's 21. They got 71% at the foul line. Bickerstaff will check out. Jalen Carey is back in. And brother Vernon, former Duke Blue Devil. Old man played the NFL offensive lineman for the Miami Dolphins. Second free throw good for Green. 13-4, James Madison. 13-15 left of the first half. McGee working off screens from Wall and Crow. A throw to Crow left of the circle. Stevie, one dribble, pops at the score up top. Raquan Horton defends. Score for three, left of the circle. Back iron no good. Rebound carry of James Madison. And that's a settled three by AJ. You can't do that. Keep moving the ball. Here's Michael Green, little stop and go. Left elbow jumper, too long, no good. Crow clears for Wisconsin. Outlet to McGee, 12.48 left in the half. 13-4, James Madison. McGee throwing a wall right of the circle. Tyler darts it to McGee, left point, takes it to the top of the free throw line, slips at the wall, bobbles it. On the floor is Tyler, ripped away by Friedel, another turnover. Friedel barreling in the lane, feeds Wood to the rim, layup is good. 
It's a turnover fest, and Greg Gard has no choice but to use a timeout. Seven Wisconsin turnovers, resulting in 12 points for James Madison. This will be a full timeout. Wisconsin basketball coverage in the postseason brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. 12-28 left of the first half. James Madison 15, Wisconsin 4. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. Bedroom too hot? Basement too cold? A MyDia ductless system is the perfect solution for room-by-room -room comfort control without the headache of a major renovation. As you look for ways to maximize your space, MyDia can provide you with a customizable solution to meet your needs. To learn more, visit MyDiaMidwest.com. That's M-I-D-E-A Midwest.com. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. I'm Sawyer. And I'm Shannon. Together, we're Twin Stunts, the only twin motorcycle freestyle show in the world. We are born and raised in Wisconsin, so we want all our fellow cheeseheads to know that even though we clutch it up, hit 12, and drift in our show, we would never do it on the open road. And there's another thing we would never do on the road. Drive, Drive drunk. drunk. Drive sober. Or get pulled over. Together, we can save lives. Learn more at zeroinwisconsin.gov. Wisconsin DOT. Life's better with an auto policy from American Family Insurance. No matter what dreams you're driving towards. That's because our expert agents will make you feel totally protected with the right auto coverage at the right price. You'll also save up to 23% when you bundle auto with home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Sitco top-tier tri-clean gasoline helps your engine run smoother and cleaner along the way. When you start with Sitco, you're good to go. And call it all Badger fans. American Family Insurance wants you and a friend to experience a Badger football and basketball game like VIPs. Enter the Badger Dream Game Day sweepstakes at amfam.com slash badgers. No purchase necessary. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, SI, and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. The Badgers have been punched in the face in the early going. 12-28 left in the first half, James Madison 15, Wisconsin 4. Yeah, Wisconsin has had 12 possessions, 7 turnovers and 1 bad shot, which is as bad as a turnover. That's 8 possessions of the 12 that have just not been good possessions whatsoever. They finally got the ball to Steve Crow in the post. He goes and he scores. They need to force the ball inside, use ball fakes, and touch the post. The problem is James Madden's, Madison's physicality has pushed all their guards away from the three-point line. It's like Mark Byington, the head coach of James Madison, saying yesterday, he says, we're not some petite team. Boy, no kidding. Here's Chucky Hepburn up top for Wisconsin. Glides to the right wing. He'll throw it to Max Klesman against Noah Friedel. Klesman off the screen from Crow. A pass to Kamari McGee off the right wing. Throws the wall left of the circle. Ten and shoot. Now Kamari left corner. Looped it inside. Caught by Crow. Low on the left. Tried to dunk. Missed it, but a foul. And Steven Crow trying to send one in. Instead, he'll go to the free throw line as Friedel is called for the foul. Yes, you're down 11. You haven't started the game well. But keep touching the post right now. You're going to get rewarded. You're going to find good things. Just keep doing it and chipping away early on here. First free throw coming up for Crow is in the air and good. Steve, a 75% free throw shooter. And has three points of the first five that Wisconsin has. Second free throw for Crow on the way. And that is off the left side iron. No good. Rebound tip. Klesman comes out of there with it. And tried to get it out to Hepburn. But it's deflected out of bounds. And the official's not sure which way. The, this should not this should be a be conversation. Wisconsin ball, but I, I'm not sure. Are you... And they're going to have yeah. a jump ball. Uh, so that means it'll be James Madison that, ball. Wow. That is bad. Wow. <laughs> And That's it's, bad. And it's and the Badgers got to move on here. Greg Gard getting his two cents 
And he should get three uh, cents, yeah. four cents, and five cents. <laughs> 15 to five, James Madison, 11.55 left of the first half. Xavier Brown throwing to Wooden, feeds Carey, rotates Raquan Horton on the left wing. Flips to Friedel, he'll try a three, and it's off the back rim, no good. Wooden, the offensive rebound. Now to Brown, long three, right side. That's too hard, no good. Ball the rebound, outlet Hepburn. Chucky up the left side of the front court for the Badgers. Hepburn off a ball screen from Crowell, throws to Wall, feeds Klesman, and a whistle. Foul called Friedel, trying to get over the screen of wall that's two fouls on Noah Friedel as we hit the under the under 12 rather media timeout Badger fans tonight's game is brought to you by the official products of Wisconsin Athletics Brew Pub lots of lots of pizza old Dutch chips and Pepsi and by UW Health Sports Medicine the health care team for the Badgers and proud sponsors of UW Athletics 1134 left in the first half James Madison 15 Wisconsin 5 this is Badger basketball from Learfield into the building for the first time after the shooting. It was crippling, but it had to be preserved. In response to the Pulse nightclub shooting that affected the LGBTQ community, Barbara Poma, owner of Pulse, founded the One Pulse Foundation to honor Pulse victims and survivors. If you're an ally of this community, speak out. There are more of us together than apart. It is the power of love in its rawest form. Join the fight for LGBTQ acceptance. Learn how at lovehasnolabels.com. Brought to you by Love Has No Labels and the Ad Council. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies because feeling full can sound like this. How did the interview go? I did it! I got the job! I can't believe it! And like this. Mom! I got first place at the science fair with my volcano project! That's amazing, sweetie. Congratulations! Because when people are fed, futures are nourished, and everyone deserves to live a full life. Join the movement to end hunger at feedingamerica.org slash act now. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out, because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear, because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> do you get it? Yes, good job. So, what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container, because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. Learn more at SmokeyBear.com. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting A Teenager Learning the Lingo GOAT G-O-A-T Acronym Stands for Greatest of All Time As in Spaghetti Sandwiches for Dinner They're my fave Dad You're the GOAT You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same Visit AdoptUSKids.org Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Adopt U.S. Kids and the Ad Council Menards is a proud sponsor of Wisconsin Athletics. It reminds everyone to save big money on all your home improvement needs at Menards. Our coverage of Wisconsin basketball in the postseason is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. Eight turnovers for Wisconsin. Two buckets. 11.34 left in the half. 15-5. James Madison leading the Badgers. Well, on the other side of it as well, they've given up four offensive rebounds. Now, when you play a team that shoots a lot of threes, you've got long rebounds. You've got to rebound outside of your area. This Wisconsin team, a good defensive rebounding team. They get 75% of it. 16th or 17th best in the country. Noah Friedel on the bench with two fouls. Inbounds pass Hepburn. Drives baseline right in the lane. Reverse layup is in and out. No good. Wooden the rebound for James Madison. And here's Terrence Edwards front court against A.J. Store. Edwards slicing into the paint. Inside feed. Wanted Horton picked off underneath by Max Klesman. And the Badgers force the first James Madison turnover of the night. Klesman bobbing off a crowd screen, slips it to Stevie, took a look, turned it down for the top of the arc as Carey closed. A pass for Hepburn on the left wing. Chucky, left lane line, now in the paint, back out the max, flips a three, right side, that is way off the mark. Well short with an air ball. Here's Edwards, at the right side for James Madison, working off the screen from Wooden. Hepburn trying to bother him, a throw to Wooden high on the right, bounce pass Jalen Carey. Faces up on crowd, mid-range jump, back iron, no. Rebound, Raekwon Horton, low in the right, up, around and out, no good. Klesman the rebound, Hepburn, cross-court pass to Storr. Left of the lane, A.J. in the paint, ball brought, brought the ball down and had it ripped away. Another turnover, nine of them in the first nine and a half minutes for Wisconsin. Here's Edwards, 
Edwards on the dribble in the lane. Kicks it out of there to Wooden. He'll try a three. Left of the circle. He splashed it. He's a 41% shooter from distance. 18 to 5. Left in the first half. Tyler Wall out front. Throwing to Stephen Crow. High on the right. Gives it to Hepburn. Feeds Klesman. Off a wall screen, Max left of the lane. Now to Crowl, open three straight away, and good, going glass. Doesn't matter how. 18 to 8, James Madison, 950, left till halftime. And you just need to see it going a little bit now. Get a stop. And Xavier Brown throwing a wooden at the top, whips it to Edwards, high on the right. Klesman defending. A pass for Brown between the circles. Brown against Hepper, left of the lane, driving way off balance, shooting over everything, no good. Crowl the rebound. Here comes Klesman, right side of the front court. Hits the brakes, feeds crowd left of the circle. Take a look, is it the store instead? Picked up by Edwards. A.J. settling for a three, and that's an air ball. Wide right, grabbed by Xavier Brown. 9.15 left in the half, 18 to 8, James Madison. Hepper knocked it away, ball loose. Klesman is there for Wisconsin. Another James Madison turnover. And it's Hepper who got that started. Klesman throwing a crowd at the top of the arc. Crowell flips it to Chucky, high on the right. Flips it to Wall, inside Crowell, wide open, and he drops it in. Stephen Crowell with the bucket, 18 to 10, James Madison. Keep being the big fella, keep running your offense. 8.48 left in the first half, Xavier Brown out high. Going to Edwards, high on the left. Husband is guarding it, high screen carry, Edwards going to work, left of the lane, off balance, shooting, missing, foul call, that's on... Wisconsin, I think, Max, and if that's the case, that's his second. I just, I, I, you know, and it's tough when you got a guy that's driving, just like Edwards likes to do. There's a lot of herky-jerky in his game. You've got to stay squared with him. He's an 82% free throw shooter with five and a half attempts per game. John Blackwell, Nolan Winter ready to check in. First free throw for Edwards is good. He now has five points. Bickerstaff, along with Michael Green and Bryant Randleman, 6'4 grad student, transfer from High Point in the lineup for James Madison. Man, as, as, as bad as they've been, and I've tried not to use we're bad, but that's what it is. This as bad as they've be a been, lot worse. Right? it could yeah. be a lot worse. Yeah. And offensively, we've seen this team turn it on and continue to get going you know they've played at a faster pace they've scored the ball better this year so only being down nine right now i mean it could be so much worse this second free throw winter secured and now store finds wall reverse layup is good going left to right first points for wall 19 to 12 james madison 822 left in the half and michael green now will bring it up against chucky hepburn Xavier brown getting a break green out front hepburn again getting up getting into him Green still pounding the dribble, left of the lane, whips it to Wooden, right of the circle. He's with Wall. Wooden will leave it for Bickerstaff between the arcs, rotates it to Green. Green to the line, hooks it left side, three in the air, Edwards off the rim, no good. Rebound, Chucky Hepburn for Wisconsin. 7.55 left in the half, 19-12, to 12, James Madison. Blackwell high on the right for Wisconsin. Now Winter at the top, dribbling to his left, leaves it for Chucky. Near the left corner, darts at the wall at the top, rotates the store around a wall screen. A.J. down the lane to the rim, layup is no good, and a foul is called. The store will go to the free throw line. And the Badgers are being helped. James Madison just 7 of 21 from the floor. So as you mentioned, this Badger team down 7. It could be a heck of a lot worse. As we'll take another break, the under 8, under eight media timeouts. Wisconsin basketball brought to you by Rail Transport, offering truck driving jobs, CDL training, and so much more across Wisconsin. Learn more at rail.jobs. 7.38 left in the half. James Madison 19, Wisconsin 12. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. 
This basketball season, let LRS be your MVP in the waste diversion and recycling industry. There won't be any turnovers when it comes to the services that LRS provides its valued customers, especially with services such as waste and recycling collection for businesses, roll-off dumpster rentals, and portable restrooms that are perfect for any construction, renovation, or outdoor event. See the LRS difference by choosing the team with over 2,000 dedicated employees that puts trust and reliability first. LRS, Wisconsin's local waste and recycling leader. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2020 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Any team can be conquered with the right playbook. It takes human ingenuity to craft and adapt the plays that will defeat even the strongest opponents. The moves that dominate on the field, the court, the ice. And cancer treatment is no different. That's why UW Health Carbone Cancer Center uses ingenuity to combat complex cancers. As the number one cancer hospital in Wisconsin, we're proud to write the playbook on fighting cancer so you always have the number one team in your corner. UW Health. Remarkable. Don't miss a moment of Wisconsin basketball during the NCAA tournament this year on our network of radio affiliates. Also, out-of-market fans can listen to exclusive national coverage by Westwood One plus our broadcast through a multicast on a Varsity Network app. Download for free in your app store and catch all the action from anywhere. 7.38 left in the first half. James Madison, 19 Wisconsin 12, and you need to look no further than one little stat category, Butchie, right? Well, it is. James Madison, 15 points off turnovers. When you talk about the keys, transition, Wisconsin's given up six fast break points. The ball screen defense I actually think has been pretty good when you look at what they've done. James Madison, only three assists, and then limit threes. James Madison, only two of eight. They're doing everything they need to do, except they're just turning the ball over way too much and giving James Madison easy points. A.J. Store will step to the free throw line. 81% coming into this NCAA tournament. He was 18 of 22 during the Big Ten tournament. The first free throw way short. Just clipped the front rim. No good. One more coming for Store. 24 points against Illinois on Sunday. Second free throw is good. So one out of two for A.J. It's 19-13. James Madison. 7.35 left of the half. Michael Green brings it up through the midcourt logo. Going right side for Raekwon Horton. Inside feed. Caught by Bickerstaff. Low on the right. Flashing low. Catches and finishes. Now just a great angle screen there by James Madison. Lack of communication by Wisconsin. 21-13. The Dukes. Wall out front. Feed store at the left point. A.J. Whistle. And in the cylinder was Terrence Edwards. He got up into A.J. And basketball move from store staggered Edwards back. But he is in the cylinder. In other words... Gardner too close. you got to give him space to make a basketball move. First foul on Edwards. Number six on James Madison. Crowd back in for Nolan Winter. That's exactly what Wisconsin needs to do, too. James Madison has been in their stuff mm-hmm. since the start of this game. John Blackwell on the dribble to the right side. Hands off to Chucky Hepburn. Top of the wheel. Sends it to Crowell. He'll feed Store off the left wing. A.J. in the lane. Goes up. Yes. Count it. Nope. Yes, it will. Yep. Count it and a foul. A.J. Store with an and one, and the Badgers are within six. 21-15, James Madison. That's too quick one on Edwards right now. Sunbelt Conference Player of the Year. He will check out Noah Friedel, who has two fouls, will come back in. Mark Byington, much more likely to do this, play guys with two fouls in the first half than Greg Gard. Free throw for Store is good. So it's 21-16, James Madison, seven minutes left in the first half in Brooklyn. Michael Green will flip it to Raekwon Horton, and he gets crowded out front. Knocked away. They'll get Blackwell for the foul. That ball got some body. That'll be team foul number five on Wisconsin, the first personal on Blackwell. And Max Klesman on the bench with two fouls. Xavier Brown ready to check back in for the Dukes. He will come in for Brian Randleman. 
They will do this from time to time. Brown and Green playing together. A couple of point guards, but alongside one another with Green running the show. Left of the center circle against Hepper and high screen Bickerstaff. Brown will use it. Right of the lane, he kicks it to Raekwon Horton. Brings it to Friedel. Jump stop, knocked away, and he walked with the ball. Yep. Dribbling into traffic. Friedel guilty of the extra step. Turnover for the Dukes. It's three of them for James Madison. 6.42 left in the half. 21-16. James Madison leads Wisconsin. Hepburn left side front court. Reels around Green. Darts at the store. AJ jump stop in the lane. Flipped it up. Left hand. Wild shot. Way off the mark. No good. Rebound to Brown. But James. Going to Green, right point against Blackwell. A screen from Bickerstaff. Blackwell works over. Green, right lane line feeds. Bickerstaff low on the right, sends it in. Bickerstaff with 6, 23, 16, James Madison. Steve's got to force that lob. Can't get, let the big get behind you. Brown out front, going to store, left wing. Here's with Friedel. AJ takes him on, baseline left, got cut off, got ball, got knocked away. To the floor goes Bickerstaff, and they get a held ball. Arrow, Wisconsin. Bodies everywhere. Now, AJ's done a good job of attacking, but AJ also needs to realize that when he comes in, there's going to be bodies all over. Mm -hmm. yep. That's what good teams do, and he's bringing the down the ball way too down low. Yep. So now all of a sudden, guards are coming in and able to rip that ball from. Keep that ball in the chest. Keep it right up by your elbow. You're not going to have the ball ripped away. Store comes out. Kamari McGee is in. The officials yeah. talking right now, I think, in regards maybe to the shot clock. Six yeah. minutes left in the half, 23-16. Possession, James Madison. absolutely. And that's yep. what it is. And I know A.J.'s frustrated going to the bench. I get that because he's attacking. But you can't bring it down low. Mm -hmm. Put 20 on the shot clock. Inbounds pass to Crow. Baseline left. So it's the back on Bickerstaff. Draws the double team. Feeds wall wide open. Low on the left. Missed the chippy. Tries again. Missed again. Rebound fought for. It's loose. Brown comes up with it. Horton actually does. Outlet to Michael Green. Green. He almost lost the handle. Now it's Horton. Feeds Green. Top of the circle. Green out high, left hand dribble, whips it left corner, three in the air, Horton and that may have been partially tipped, well short, Blackwell has it, up the middle comes the freshman to the line, he got tripped up, he'll go to the free throw line, with 527 left in the first half, 23-16, James Madison. The Sensei tournament. It's a wild thing, uh -huh. crazy thing happened, and, really and, that, does. And, and that's what's happening right now. Get your emotions under control. You're still seeing it. We're not seeing the Wisconsin team that we've seen where that ball is moving and playing with great pace. We've seen it a lot this year. Pace versus speed. Pace is in the half court. That ball's not popping and finding guys right now in the half court for Wisconsin. Michael Green, the foul, one and one for Blackwell. Missed the front end. Rebound, Raekwon Horton. 23-16, James Madison, 520 left in the first half. Green against Kamari McGee. By the way, Marcus Silver in for Tyler Wall. Here's Green. Hard dribble. Slips to Bickerstaff. Low on the left. Up right hand. Back rim once, twice. Out no good. Rebound Horton and Hepburn. They battle for it. It's out of bounds. Last touch by Horton of James Madison. It'll be a Wisconsin ball. And A.J. Store ready to come right back in for Wisconsin. This time he will sub in for Blackwell. Wisconsin's got to find bodies though on the defensive end. James Madison, way too many offensive rebounding opportunities. McGee throwing to Marcus Silver, flips to Hepburn, left side, dribbles to the top of the arc against Friedel. Chucky whips to Crow, open three straight on, and that's off the rim and out, no good. It goes out of bounds. Boy, they are badly missing here. Wisconsin, one of six from the three-point line, one of yeah, one of five. James Madison, two out of nine. Yeah, I was going to say, but it's not just Wisconsin. Yeah. It's both teams here. I mean, James Madison, they're shooting 22% from three, and Wisconsin shooting 20%. 4.45 left in the half, 23-16, James Madison. Michael Green to the front court. Throwing to Terrence Edwards. Out there with two fouls. Edwards matched up with Hepburn. Throwing to Friedel. Crowding him as A.J. Store between the circles. Now Bickerstaff moving in on Crowell in the lane. Goes up, blocked by Stevie. Ball loose. Inside, out of bounds. Last touched by James Madison's Raekwon Horton. Wisconsin but I, ball. But I can't emphasize it enough. Wisconsin needs to get bodies on James Madison. They are crashing the glass hard. Xavier Brown coming in for Noah Friedel. 
and Wisconsin knows this. They know that they average 12 a game. You've yes. got to get on yep. bodies. 423 left in the half. 23-16, James Madison. Store gets a high screen from Crow. Stops left of the circle, does A.J. A handoff to McGee, and it's ripped away, and a foul on McGee. Edwards disrupting the simple handoff. Yet another turnover, and then the second foul assessed to Kamari McGee. Ten Wisconsin turnovers in the first half. And, and right now, this isn't like, like the play Greg called. is a very simple play. Punch five. Punch five means the ball gets in the post. All dude does, all that needs to happen is a ball reversal, one more to the wing, and the entry was there. They couldn't get to that point of the offense. McGee out, Blackwell in, Bickerstaff throwing to Brown, shakes right, moves left to the free throw line, kicks to Green, three in the air left side, off the rim no good, Crowell the rebound for Wisconsin. Four minutes left in the half, 23-16, James Madison. Pepper left-hand dribble, throws to Marcus Hilver, took a look, turned it down, throws to Store. AJ on the left side. Brown defending, trying to bump into him, and then A.J. who got away with a foul, it looked like, and he missed the short baseline left jumper. Bickerstaff the rebound for James Madison. 340 left in the half, 23-16, James Madison. Edwards in the lane, goes up, it rolls in. For Terrence Edwards, he has seven, back to a nine-point lead for the Dukes. Terrence Edwards has seven, that's a transition bucket, though. you got to get close, pack that thing in. We'll keep it here at the under four immediate timeout. Wisconsin 6 of 19 for the field. James Madison just 10 of 28. 329 left in the first half. 25 to 16. James Madison leading Wisconsin. Our coverage of Wisconsin basketball in the postseason is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. Well, at some point, you got to credit James Madison for its aggressiveness defensively, but quite frankly, this is as bad as I've seen Wisconsin play all year. You know, maybe the game at Rutgers, it, it, it's reminiscent of that, but they've just been bad here in the first half. You can't sugarcoat that. Yeah, no, and for me, it's, be, it's been the physicality of James Madison that has forced, right? The question is why? Why have they been bad? Why have they had so many turnovers? And it's very simple. It's the physicality of James Madison. What the physicality is doing is forcing Wisconsin off of the three-point line where you like to operate. You like to catch the ball on the three-point line. That's where you look for your cutters, your passing. Right now, Wisconsin's operating a lot of their offense at half court. Yep. So even when they run, I, mean, I use the term punch five as a play they were trying to get to, which is a post play. Even when they're trying to make the entry pass, the dribble handoff that they tried to do to, then to get the ball to the wing was still in between the three-point line and half court. You can't function out there as an offense. You just can't do it. You're pushed off your spots. When you're pushed off your spots, it throws off your timing. When your timing's thrown off, your pace and your ball movement is thrown off. And that's what we're seeing. And then what you're seeing, too, inside are some no-footers being missed. And they, yeah, that can happen when you're, you're pressing a little bit, you know. And we're seeing that with Wisconsin right now. But, again... We're being a little repetitive here. They're down nine, which isn't good. But it could be easily twice that, that deficit right now. Well, there's no question. If you're, I mean, not that if you're Greg, you're at 329 left in this game, or in this uh, first half, excuse me. If you're Greg, this isn't one of those locker rooms you need to run into and, you know, blow it up as far as start going crazy. Because they are still in this. This is something that understand what you do. It's got to start, get a couple of stops, find some easy buckets, make sure that you finish around the rim, and with 3.29 left, see if you can chip away. Make this a six-point game. Make this a five-point game. It's Wall, Krause, Storr, Hepburn, and Blackwell on the floor for Wisconsin. James Madison will break the huddle with Brown. Xavier Brown, Michael Green, T.J. Bickerstaff, Terrence Edwards, and Raquan Horton. Wisconsin will be on offense. 25-16, the Dukes. 328 and counting left of the first half. Blackwell to the front court against Terrence Edwards. Blackwell in high screen from Crowell. Throws to Wall. Tyler gets crowded by Horton. Now Hepburn. Right point, darts at the wall. Tyler back out to Chucky, high on the right. Refeeds wall at the top, rotates to store. Left wing, 
Working the baseline on Brown to the rim and threw it well over the rim. Caught his own miss. Low on the right. Pushed it up. No. Tipped up. No. Horton the rebound again. The Badgers missing inside. Michael Green to the left sideline. Booker staff the high screen. Green will toss to Brown. Coming off the right wing. Circles it back out front. Here's it to Bickerstaff. Flips to Green off the Bickerstaff screen. Leaning. Foul line jump. Good. For Michael Green, the lead is 11 for James Madison. 27 to 16. 240 left in the half. Tyler Wall left to the circle. Feeds Crowell up top. Now one dribble. Did a good job of denying store right now. Here's Wall on the left wing. Hands off to Blackwell. Shot clock at 10. A pass intended for Wall. Disrupted off a wall. Out of bounds. Turnover number 12 for Wisconsin. Twice as many turnovers as buckets for the Badgers so far. And it's simple ball fakes. It's understanding the ball. Two to the half. 27-16. James Madison. Michael Green out high. Left hand hip high dribble. It's a screen from Bickerstaff. A throw to Edwards. High on the right. Edwards wanting a screen from Bickerstaff. Gets it. Takes it off the right wing. Darts it left side green. Flips a three. Left side. Good. Michael Green for three. A 36% three point shooter. 30 to 16. James Madison. 157 left in the half. Hepburn throwing a wall. Sends it to Storr on the left wing. Storr flips to Crowd. Top of the arc. He's off the Hepburn, Chucky left hand dribble, leads it for Wall, throws the store left side. AJ to the foul line, pulls, pops, missed it, tried to bank it in, Horton the rebound. I don't think he tried to They bank are it not, is. they're yeah. not even close with their yeah. misses. Here's nope. Edwards to the line, spinning in the lane, low on the right, push it up, no, foul by Chucky Hepburn. Well, the Badgers got to be careful. They're on the edge of unraveling here, down 14 with 90 seconds left in the first half. You're exactly right. You are exactly right with that, right? It could have gone the other way when you're when you're sitting there. Instead, now James Madison has made a couple of shots. They've made a couple of plays. And on offensive end, you see a couple of forces like AJ's shot. Just was not a good shot. Nine-point run for James Madison. Edwards missing the first free throw. Jalen Carey will come in for Bickerstaff. McGee in for Store. One thirty left till halftime. Thirty to sixteen. James Madison leading Wisconsin. Terrence Edwards with seven first half points. One of three at the foul line for an eighty-two percent shooter coming into this tournament. Missed the first, second is on the way, and it's straight through. And now Brian Randleman will come in for Edwards. Edwards, to his credit, has done well protecting himself from that third foul. Uh, they, they have. Mm -hmm. They've done everything he needed to do. And now they're trying to deny Kamari McGee. Nothing easy. Inbounds pass almost stolen away. It gets to Hepburn. Missed. James Madison team and see blood in the water. Here's Chucky off the left wing, lost his balance, lost the ball. Another turnover. Green ahead for Brown, back to Green on the right side. It's a turnover fest for Wisconsin in this first half. Here's Brown. Left elbow jumper, and it's off the rim. No good. Whistle inside. Foul called. It's on Wisconsin. Screen. Let's see who they assess that to. It's going to be on John Blackwell. That's his second. 13 turnovers for Wisconsin in the first half. A team that averages fewer than 10 a game. And Raekwon Horton is at the free throw line for two shots with 107 left in the half. Horton one of two at the foul line. It's a one and one, I should say. And he hits the front end. One more coming. 32 to 16. James Madison now on an 11 point run. Badgers have missed their last eight shots. Turned it over four times in the last six minutes. Second free throw is good. Uh, that's been the biggest thing is turnovers here, Matt. And that's what has allowed James Madison to get out and run. 33-16, James Madison. One minute left in the half. A 12-point run for the Dukes. Crow high on the right, throwing a wall and a whistle off the ball. A foul call. This will send Wisconsin to the free throw line. Bryant Randleman with his first foul. I think the biggest thing right now is, you know, and finally John did that. If you're denied, cut hard. Got to get body movement. 
Just haven't seen that. No, I haven't. Well, right now they can't catch. They no can't way. Can't hang on to the ball. I mean, it's very. They talk about the simplest things right now. Randleman comes out. Edwards is back in. And a, and a timeout taken by James Madison, with 55.8 seconds left in the first half. 33 to 16. James Madison leading Wisconsin. This is a fiercely aggressive James Madison team. Very good. We talk about what they can do offensively, and they get a lot done and because of the turnovers they force. They're a sticky defensive team, and they have been all of that and then some in the first half tonight. Wisconsin, 13 turnovers. James Madison, 10 steals, they average 9. You knew they'd be aggressive. Their 9 steals they average are... You know, it's 16th in the nation. You knew that's what they were going to do. And right now, you're playing into the way that they want to play. Yeah, they look totally flustered. Yeah, right they, now. But, it, but it was yeah. right from the start. Yeah, it was. it was. It was right from the start here. thought the physicality of James Madison pushed Wisconsin off of every catch, off, to, off of every attack. So there, Wisconsin, you want to try to finish this final 55.8, try to have something to feel good about going into the locker room. John Blackwell is at the line for a one and one and he will hit the front end for his first points of the night you hate to say it's a big free throw oh, but that felt big yeah like yeah. just okay stop the bleeding 33 17 james madison second free throw for blackwell is straight through so it's 33 18 the dukes 55 seconds left of the break michael green will bring it up down to 50 seconds left in the half edwards high on the left Hepburn defending. Edwards surveys, still holds. 15 in the shot clock. Edwards puts it on the deck. Left of the lane, wheels to the elbow, throws it out to Brown. Brown left of the lane, gives off to Horton and hooks a pass out of bounds. Wanted Brown along the left baseline, threw it away. And with 31.9 left, Wisconsin back on offense. 33 to 18, James Madison as Brian Randleman will check in again for Edwards. Shot clock at 30, game clock at 31.9. Normally I'd say just go score, don't worry about it. But if I'm great the way we played, I'm going to try to <laughs> milk this thing a little bit, see if I can get a, last, you know, a, a shot here last James and Mad not give them a chance. James Madison was showing backcourt pressure, but backs out of it. Hepburn will walk it across the midstripe on the left side. 25 seconds left in the half. 33-18, to 18, James Madison. And Hepburn will pound the dribble, uncontested left of the center circle. 15 to play, 13 to shoot. Xavier Brown sags off. Shot clock at 8, game clock at 10. Hepburn puts it on the floor, hooks the crowd. Open three, left of the circle. That's off the left side. Iron no good. Whistle, foul called on James Madison with 3.7 left in the half. They'll get Raekwon Horton for the foul, and that's number 10 on James Madison. So the Badgers and Tyler Wall at the line for a double bonus. 33-18, to 18, the Dukes with 3.7 seconds left in the first half. Wall a 67% free throw shooter. Foul trouble... Limited his minutes, also got banged up in that tournament. Never played more than 24 and a half minutes in any of the tournament games. First free throw is good for Wall. And John Blackwell has two. That's exactly what Greg's doing. Yep, yeah, getting Blackwell that's exactly out of there. What he's Gilmore doing. Yep. is in for Blackwell. John with the two fouls. Edwards back in for Randleman. 33 to 19, James Madison with 3.7 seconds left in the half. Second free throw coming up for Tyler Wall. He made the first. And he made the second. So a 13-point game. Inbounds pass to Brown with three, with two, with one. Shooting for three. Counts if it goes. Back rim no good. And the first half has come to an end. A very, very, very rough first half of the Badgers. We'll see if they can regroup and make a push in the second 20 minutes. No one gets you closer to the game than Sirius XM Big Ten Radio. Tune in for news, talk, and analysis from the offseason through the regular season and into the postseason. We've got your team covered anywhere you go. Get a free trial at SiriusXM.us slash Big Ten Radio 2023. Our coverage of the Badgers in the postseason brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. At the half, James Madison 33, Wisconsin 20. We're back with the halftime report presented by Culver's. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. 
What is dedication? My biggest fear in the middle of my addiction was that my kids wouldn't have a father. And I started thinking, you know what? This isn't my story. I definitely had to become a better man to be a better father. It's important to me that my kids are empowered and truly believe that if, if they can think it, they can do it. That's dedication. Visit fatherhood.gov to hear more. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. This is your captain. We are going to be experiencing some slight turbulence. Please fasten your... Oh, hold on. Just got a video of my cat. Imagine the pilot of an airplane was as confident as you are texting and driving. Seems kind of crazy when you put it like that. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. At the half in Brooklyn, James Madison 33, Wisconsin 20. 13 turnovers resulting in 20 points for the Dukes. Terrence Edwards with eight leading the way for James Madison. Michael Green, T.J. Bickerstaff each with six. Five for Julian Wooden in the first half of play. Three for Noah Friedel. Three for Raquan Horton. And two for Jalen Carey. Stephen Crow has eight to pace the Badgers. A.J. Store with six. Tyler Wall with four. John Blackwell with two. At the half, James Madison 33, Wisconsin 20. Coming up, our halftime conversation presented by American Family Insurance. We'll visit with associate head coach Joe Krabenhoff in a couple of minutes. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Hey Badger fans, ready to make a career move that's sure to score big? Join our winning team at UW-Madison. From accountants and chefs to painters and veterinarians, we've got a diverse roster for all skills. As one of the largest employers in Wisconsin, we offer competitive salaries, state group health care, and opportunities to level up your talents. That's what you can expect when you work with Bucky at UW-Madison. Join our dedication to innovation and the Wisconsin idea. Apply today at jobs.wisc.edu slash Bucky and score big with UW-Madison. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Wisconsin Athletics, helping the world keep promises. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, 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 coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. (laughs) While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. I'm Sawyer. And I'm Shannon. Together, we're Twin Stunts, the only twin motorcycle freestyle show in the world. We are born and raised in Wisconsin, so we want all our fellow cheeseheads to know that even though we clutch it up, hit 12, and drift in our show, we would never do it on the open road. And there's another thing we would never do on the road. Drive drunk. Drive sober. Or get pulled over. Together, we can save lives. Learn more at zeroinwisconsin.gov. Wisconsin DOT. It's Ford Truck Month, and we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series, featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. Celebrate with us, America. This is Ford Truck Month, based on 1977 to 2023 industry reported total sales. Listen up, Badger fans. Are you looking to save money while also saving the planet? Well, you can do just that with Everlight Solar, the largest residential solar company in Wisconsin. With our zero out-of-pocket program, any homeowner can win with solar energy by simply shifting what you already pay for power to pay for solar panels instead. Visit EverlightSolar.com today to schedule your no-cost consultation. With zero out-of-pocket along with generous tax incentives and rebates, it's a no-brainer for any homeowning Badger fan. Everlight Solar, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Thank you. 
This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Wisconsin. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Halftime in Brooklyn, time for our halftime conversation presented by American Family Insurance as we visit with Badgers associate head coach Joe Crabbenhawks. We thought you might be interested in hearing about the process of getting a scouting report together not long after the Big Ten Tournament Championship game. Talk about having to move on quickly. Well, Joe and company had to do just that like the other 67 teams in this NCAA tournament. Modern technology, very helpful though, and that got him involved in that deep dive right away. Many more these days. There's so much readily available information on all of us um, that you know. But our, our our team does a tremendous job of of uh, you know video uh, preparation led by AJ Van Handel, our video operations uh, uh, coordinator, and he's. He had a file on JMU because he started to anticipate where we were going to be seated and who the opponents may be. So uh, immediately had uh, six to eight games available on my computer within minutes and uh, information as far as a general analytic, analytical breakdown of the team and the, the players. So that, that starts within minutes. Tried to process losing to Illinois for a few minutes and then jump right into JMU and uh, drove back with my family in the car and uh, my wife was gracious enough to drive while I watched the first couple games at JMU and uh, uh, been watching ever since so it's uh, it comes at you fast but we're in a day and age where uh, information is right up at our fingertips and the same could be said for JMU they, they probably had everything on us within minutes as well you mentioned turning the page it's always been a fascinating part about the Big Ten tournament leading right up to the selection show I've talked to Butchie about it you guys have both lived as players and now you as a coach, there's something to that, right? I mean, you, the confetti has fallen for you, and it's fallen for the other guys, but you got to turn it faster than ever. Yeah, you just got to turn the page, and you know, you get you only get so many uh, moments where you're a player or two away from a, holding the trophy and cutting down nets, and you you don't ever take those for granted. As many times as this program and players wearing our jerseys have held those trophies and cut down those nets, we never take those moments for granted. And it was a disappointed locker room, to say the least. But at the same time, <clears throat> an experienced group and a group that understands what else is in front of them and what they did during those four or five days in, in Minnesota to set themselves up to have another opportunity to cut down some nets and, and work towards another goal here in the NCAA tournament. So uh, it just takes, uh, uh, and also along those lines, you know, uh, we're, we're playing for and I'm working for a coach who's been in just about every moment <laughs> in this program. Uh, fortunately, he's been, and unfortunately, he's been, he's cut down nets in the Big Ten tournament and he's had Ohio State's colors falling down on us as I was playing in the United Center and we had to prep and get ready for, for an NCAA tournament days later. So there's nothing he hasn't been through. And so his experience as a leader, his words of advice and encouragement to our guys in the locker room following that Illinois loss as we got ready to go up and watch the selection show was was spot on and they picked their heads up immediately they were hungry uh, to, to see who they were going to play and, and ready for 40 more minutes and so the credit goes to the leadership obviously with Coach Gard and his ability to rally the troops. You mentioned Coach Gard yourself, you, you know, Dean, Sharif and this, this current group of players I mean they haven't maybe witnessed everything that you guys have but for guys that are you know at their word at the oldest you know your Tyler Wall They've experienced a lot, right? That can help them, not just now, but moving forward. And that's the best thing about a veteran group. You know, a lot is said in that locker room before we even come in as a coaching staff. And uh, it comes from guys like Tyler Wall and Chucky Hepburn and guys who've been in big moments, played in the NCAA tournament, played in big games in March, and, and can help the group understand what's ahead of them and how to stay focused on what's important and not get too high when things are really good, celebrate success, but maintain an even keel because you know what's in front of us and we gotta we got to stay hungry and stay ready. You can never drop your head after a disappointment. It's bad. Badgers associate head coach, Joe Kravinoff. We'll take a break. Butchie and I are back with more of our halftime chat presented by American Family Insurance. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. 
Known for their durability and performance, Anco wiper blades are the reliable choice for your vehicle's windshield. Anco effectively clears the rain, snow, and debris with ease. You want dependable visibility? Then choose the trusted choice, Anco, for smooth, streak-free wiping action. Easy to install and compatible with almost all models. That's Anco brand wiper blades. Now on sale at your neighborhood bumper-to-bumper -bumper auto parts store. And thank you for shopping locally. You're at the game with your girl and you're going to pop the question. So you take a big swig of overpriced liquid courage. You pull the ring out of your pocket, get down on one knee, and then she says, Um, I need to go to the bathroom. And you realize the whole stadium is watching. Proposing on a Jumbotron? Big gamble. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells, better odds. Where you can't miss hot spot for big time casino fun. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. Your odds are better here. It's Ford Truck Month. Are you ready? And we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series. Featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. Celebrate with us, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Based on 1977 to 2023 industry reported total sales. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. To step up and put everything back the way it was. So, if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend, the worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. A halftime conversation presented by American Family Insurance. James Madison leads Wisconsin 33 to 20 alongside Brian Butch. I'm Matt LePay. So 33 to 20, James Madison, Wisconsin with 13 turnovers, six buckets. Is this one of those uh, you suggested a little bit ago, Brian? I mean, you could yell and scream in the locker room, or it could be guys, breathe. Maybe more of the latter. It, that's breathe. exactly what it is. I mean, that's and not because of the moment or the situation. This just isn't Wisconsin basketball. As the far as the turnovers go, and how they've happened, and you look at James Madison, twenty of the thirty-three points have come off of your turnovers. Defensively, when you haven't turned the ball over, you've been good. You just have to just calm down and set the tone. If a team is going to get in you, cut, move, make them grab. If they're not going to blow a whistle with you cut and move it, that's fine because the body movement is going to get the defense to move and nobody wants to guard that long so it'll be open. There was one possession I remember. Then was a side pick and roll. There was a cut. Then as that cut cutting action was happening on the other side, Big Steve rolled right to the front rim and nobody was near him. Mm -hmm. Nobody was near him. So you just have to breathe in this situation. And you're only down 13. The vibe I'm getting in the media row behind me from national media people, they told me this game's over. I said, no, it's not. I don't believe that. This team offensively is a lot better than the 20 points they put up in this first half. And they can come out and put it on right now in this second half. And with we've been around them all year long. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're built a little different. I think they've got some grit to them. I think they've got some fight to them. So I'm not about to believe that just because they're down 13, this thing's over. They, they haven't played that way all year long. All right, 20 minutes remain. Our halftime score is James Madison 33, Wisconsin 20. We'll check out some of the first half stats in two minutes. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. 
if only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Whoa, whoa, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel, good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Famous Wurstmachers Bob and Tony in the Smokehouse. <laughs> Beef, summer sausage, and salami. And because they're from Usinger's, you know they're the best. Made with all lean beef and imported spices, cured and smoked the old world way. Because quality has been Usinger's number one ingredient for more than a century. Ah. <laughs> Made right here in Milwaukee since 1880. Usinger's, America's finesta Worcester. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you bet. How do you master the game of basketball? With ingenuity. By creating new opportunities to turn post-ups into layups, spin moves into easy steals, press breaks into fast breaks. At UW Health, we use the same ingenuity to treat injuries. We build a team of the greatest minds in sports medicine constantly innovating for the future of sports treatment. As the Badgers official team doctors, we're dedicated to delivering advanced care every day so any athlete can stay on their A-game. UW Health. Remarkable. 33 to 20, James Madison leading Wisconsin at the half as we check out some of the first half numbers. It's not like the Dukes are shooting lights out. They're 37 and a half percent, 12 of 32, 3 of 12 from the arc, 6 of 11 at the free throw line. Wisconsin, though, it's it's just been poor. 6 out of 23, 26 percent, 1 of 6 from 3, 7 of 10 at the free throw line. Uh, Wisconsin a plus one on the glass. I give you all these stats. Points off turnovers, 20 to 4, James Madison. Wisconsin Good. with five assists, 13 turnovers, six and five assists to turns for the Dukes in the first 20 minutes. It, the one stat, the points that's off That's what turnovers. it is. I mean, it's, it's that simple. It, yep. It, and it is. And that, that's why I believe that there's a push that they can make. Yes. Because it's not five or six different things. I've One seen, thing. yeah, seen the movie. Yeah. Uh, now, hopefully, you know, Wisconsin, and when I say that, Wisconsin could be very poor in the first half and electric in the second. Under Greg Gard, under Bo Ryan, under Dick Bennett, seen it. Well, they're going to need it here tonight because they got a little ground to cover. Our score at the break, James Madison 33, Wisconsin 20. This is the Halftime Report brought to you by Culver's. Before we throw to a commercial break, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. 10 for an ID. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Thirty-three to twenty, James Madison leading Wisconsin. The second half is coming up next. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. Into the building for the first time after the shooting, it was crippling, but it had to be preserved. In response to the Pulse nightclub shooting that affected the LGBTQ community, Barbara Poma, owner of Pulse, founded the One Pulse Foundation to honor Pulse victims and survivors. If you're an ally of this community, speak out. There are more of us together than apart. It is the power of love. In its rawest form. Join the fight for LGBTQ acceptance. Learn how at lovehasnolabels.com. Brought to you by Love Has No Labels and the Ad Council. I'm Chris Jackamick. I served in the United States Air Force and I deployed three times. So in 2017, I was serving as an Air Force First Sergeant. Our motto in that role is my job is people, everyone is my business. But unfortunately in that year, I would lose my own brother, Lance Corporal Adam Jackamick, to suicide. The majority of veteran suicides are from guns. I store my weapons securely, not only for myself, but for my family. Store all your guns securely. Help stop suicide. My service never stops. Brought to you by End Family Fire and the Ad Council. All right, we get set for the start of the second half. James Madison, 33. Wisconsin, 20. The Dukes led by as many as 17. Badgers got some work done at the foul line, though, in the closing minute to get within 13. Yeah, and I think right away to start this second half off, biggest thing is let's see some body movement. Let's see some ball movement on the offensive end. Take away the physicality of James Madison. How do you do that? You do it by moving. If you're standing, they're going to get into you. If you're moving, they can't. We're going to get this the single digits quickly 
in the second half, get their crowd into it. Badgers, after the poor start, got to within five at 21 to 16. And then the Dukes went on a big run, a 13 point run, or a 12 point run, beg your pardon. And as you mentioned, they were threatening to blow this wide open. Now, these first few minutes, we'll see if the Badgers can knock this into single digits and get a little mojo going their way. I got a feeling they will, man. I just do. Okay. I'm with you on that. I just think that you couldn't play worse. <laughs> right? So, yeah, you're and right. And you're only down yeah. 13. Yeah. You, you couldn't play worse, and you're only down 13. So, you turn this thing, starts by some intensity on the defensive end. Offensively, you're getting body movement. You're getting ball movement. That carries over, and then you build. This, I mean, this, this crowd wants to get behind you a little bit. James Madison will have the first possession of the second half. It'll be moving to our left. Original starting five, both sides. Friedel has two fouls. Wooden with two. He'll come off the bench. Edwards has two. Klesman has two. McGee, two. Blackwell with two. Inbounds pass. Xavier Brown, second half underway. Down with a bounce for Noah Friedel. High on the right. Store defending it. Throw into Edwards. Low on the right. Takes it left. Reverse layup. Good. Easy money right out of the box for James Madison. 35-20. The Dukes opening minute second half. Wisconsin moving to our right. Klesman feeds Hepburn. Left wing goes into Crowell. Off the left block. Darks it out to Klesman. Feeds Store. Three shot. Right side. Off the rim. No good. Rebound. Tip into the hands of Xavier Brown. A bucket and a stop for James Madison to start the second half. Here's Edwards behind the back on the dribble. Stops mid post right. Leaves it for Bickerstaff. Backing on Crow. Picks up the dribble. Throws it out to Edwards high on the right. Wants a screen. Now it turns it down. Cut off by Wall. Now Edwards will use the Bickerstaff screen. Picked up by Crow on the switch. Baseline right jumper and air ball. And it's run down by Max Klusman. Not quite a minute gone. Second half. 35 to 20. James Madison leading Wisconsin. Wall gives off the store, bounces the wall, left of the lane. Whips it to Klesman, lines up a three, takes it, makes it. Three shot, first points of the night for Max Klesman, 35-23, James Madison. Ball movement, body movement, it's amazing when it happens. A minute 15 gone by, second half, Julian Wooden to the front court. Driving on Wall, low on the left, pushed it up, missed it, but a foul. They'll get Tyler Wall, that'll be his first. So Wooden putting it on the deck with a good take. Well, he is. Might have had a little bit of a shuffle of feet there, too. But that's why you got to stay locked in and defensively. Didn't expect Wooden to take the drive. All of a sudden, surprise, Tyler. And then because of that, there was a jersey grab. 79% free throw shooter is Wooden, and he connects on the first. He now has five points. 36-23, James Madison. A minute 22 gone by in the second half. Wooden averages about 10 points a game. Second free throw is off the heel of the rim. No good. And the rebound to Crowell of Wisconsin. 13-point lead. James Madison early on second half. A.J. Storr throwing a wall. Flips to Hepburn left side. Chucky dribbles to the line. Down the lane. To the rim. Layup is good for Hepburn. His first points. And keep attacking the paint, boys. Tyler had a great seal there. Big Steve had a seal as well. And then driving lane was right there. 36-25 James Madison. A minute 45 gone. Second half. Terrence Edwards left of the lane. Crowd cut him off. Turns up. Missed badly off the left side. Iron. Crowd the rebound. And now Hepburn up the floor for Wisconsin. Friedel defends. Chucky. Kicks to Klesman, snaps off a three, right corner, nailed it. Couple of triples from Klesman early in the second half, 36-28, James Madison. Badgers trying to get some momentum. Hepburn bothering Brown in the backcourt. When Chucky goes down, they play through it, and they'll play on. Here's Brown, left of the lane. Throws it, deflected. It's gathered by Bickerstaff. Baseline left. Hands off Friedel. Baseline left, 10-footer. No. Rebound. Crowd fighting for it. And he throws it off of Bickerstaff. Oh, they're going to say... Crowell was, was out, out of, bounds. of bounds first along the left baseline. So James Madison keeps possession. Two and a half minutes gone. Second half, 36-28. The Dukes lead the Badgers. Terrence Edwards, baseline left, will inbound with 20 back on the shot clock. Edwards looking and looking. He'll throw it out to Wooden, left of the circle, and he hands off to Xavier Brown. Brown at the edge of the center circle. Left hand dribble, left of the lane, running it up and in. First points for Brown, 38-28, James Madison. 
2.40 gone by in the second half. That burn out front. Throws to Crowell, top of the circle. Crowell against Bickerstaff, a handoff to Store. Feeds Wall, rotates to Hepburn at the right point. Chucky left hand dribble to the free throw line. A step back foul line, jumper, banked it, missed it. Rebound Bickerstaff. Ahead to Edwards, pushing front court. They like to get it done early if they can, and a whistle and a reach in foul called against Wisconsin. I thought Hepburn, let's see. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to be, in, yeah. Two on Chucky. And two on Wisconsin in the second half. Here's Xavier Brown out front. A little more than three minutes gone. Second half, 10-point lead, James Madison. Picker staff throw into Friedel. Left of the circle. Inside, inside to Edwards. Low on the right. Easy money. Catch and finish. And Max has got to let Edwards go one way. Let him go both ways. And the Badgers throw it away. Wall and Storr not on the same page. Storr started to break along the right baseline. The pass went out of bounds at the right corner. 28, James Madison, about three and a half minutes into the second half. Turnover number 14 for Wisconsin. Zay Brown throwing to Bickerstaff. Ups to Friedel, high on the right. Friedel with a pass for Brown, left of the circle. Brown out high, Hepburn defending. Brown open, mid-range jumper, good. Xavier Brown with four, and the lead's back to 14 for the Dukes. With 16-12 to play, a six-point run for James Madison. Hepburn left of the circle, throws to Klesman. Side steps left, three in the air, yes sir! Max Klesman is third three, 42-31, James Madison. Four minutes gone, second half. Can they get a couple of stops here, man? Edwards against Klesman, out front. High screen, Bickerstaff, screen and roll. Bickerstaff inside, knocked away, and they get a held ball. Wow, arrow to Wisconsin as we hit the under 16. Media timeout. Well, Max Klesman got a little heater going. Now can he get some help? At U.S. Bank, we know when you invest in a community, the community will invest in you. We are committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of our customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC, 15-47 to play. James Madison, 42, Wisconsin, 31. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. Monday, you're already late for work. You scramble, putting on pants while brushing your teeth in the dark. And you're starving. Starving. But the only thing in the fridge? Friday night's leftovers. Oof. A three-day-old curry beef burrito for breakfast? Big gamble. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells? Better odds. Where your can't-miss hot spot for big-time casino fun? Ho-Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. Your odds are better here. Hey friends, Matt Matt here for Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza. Does it seem like you're camping in the forest of complaints when it comes to your kids and dinner time? Phrases like, what even is that? And, we're having that again? Or, seriously, are getting tossed around like a frisbee at the beach. I know you want to break free from the barrage of bemoaning, so toss in a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza for dinner tonight. That thin crust, delicious sauce, and mountain of mozzarella will have the kids singing your praises at dinner time. Snag a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza today from the freezer section in your local grocery store. Hey Badgers, spring is here, which means the annual Crazy Lakes Classic is just around the corner. Sign up today for the 8K run or two-mile walk on April 27th and celebrate 175 years of UW-Madison. The Crazy Lakes Classic is presented by J.D. McCormick Properties, Odyssey Greek Yogurt, Mueller Sports Medicine, and NBC15. For more information and to sign up, visit crazylakesclassic.com. That's crazylakesclassic.com. Life's better with a home policy from American Family Insurance because you'll feel protected no matter how the wind blows. Also, you can keep enjoying the home of your dreams. And our expert agents can help you save up to 23% when you bundle home with auto. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. Get a quote? Find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. WEA Member Benefits would like to thank all public school educators for their dedication to our communities. WEA Member Benefits enhancing the financial lives of Wisconsin public school employees. And our coverage of Wisconsin basketball in the postseason is brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. 1547 to play. James Madison 42, Wisconsin 31. 
And it will be Wisconsin basketball. Carter Gilmore is in right now, along with Crow, Klesman, Hepburn, and Blackwell. Gilmore will inbound to Hepburn against Xavier Brown, trying to bother him a little bit. Now Brown drops back. Hepburn dribbles to the front court. Flips to Crow high on the right. Bounces it to Gilmore up top. Feeds Klesman. Max on the right wing, drifting to the top. Bounce feed for Crow, backing right block, powers it up, and in. There you go. Big Stevie with a bucket, 42-33, James Madison. A big, powerful move there. Probably could have gotten an and one. 15-20 remaining. James Madison up nine. At the ball is Edwards. Starts a pass to Friedel. Covered up by Klesman. Friedel, left-hand dribble, left lane line. Stops, pivots, throws it out to Edwards. He's with Blackwell. Pick the staff the screen. Block out Blackwell. Open jumper, Edwards, good. Little mid-range game from Terrence Edwards. He has 12. 44-33, the Dukes. Five minutes gone, second half. That burn to the front court of the left side. Going to Gilmore. He's it for Klesman, high on the right, off the Gilmore screen. Now a throw to Carter, darts at the Blackwell left corner. Now it's Chucky giving the Blackwell left wing. Tight defense from James Madison. Blackwell left side, loops it into Crow, left of the lane, seven to shoot. Skips it to Hepburn, three shot, right corner is off the back rim, no good. Bickerstaff the rebound for James Madison. 44-33, James Madison, 14-25 remaining. Bickerstaff, right hand flip for Xavier Brown off the Bickerstaff screen. A throw to Wooden. He gathers left of the circle. Julian Wooden operates against Carter Gilmore and a step back three rattles out. No good. Rebound Klesman with 14.08 to play. Badgers down 11. Max up top, throws to Crowell. Flips it to Hepburn high on the left. Chucky picked up the dribble. Out to Gilmore. Carter. Crowded by Wooden, needs help, pivoting, a throw to Crow, and it's stolen away by Edwards. On the road to make that Bickerstaff on the run to the rim, and he is hit hard by Hepburn. Bickerstaff goes down hard. Chucky over there to make sure he's all right, and he'll send Bickerstaff to the free throw line. On yet another Wisconsin turnover, 15 of them now. The foul on Hepburn is his third. 13-47 to play, 44-33, James Madison. Just a ferocious defensive effort from James Madison. And the Badgers yes. again. Yes, so yes but, 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 but there, there is a but. Yeah, right? yeah. Like even Carter picks the dribble up. He's three steps off of the three-point line, and you have no angle to make a pass. Yep. Yeah, they are helping the Dukes. First free throw, Bickerstaff, no and, good. And you know James Madison was aggressive. They're nine, yes. They averaged the nine, nine steals, 16th in the nation. You knew that's what they needed to do. But you also had a week to prepare. And, and here's the thing. The turnovers, it's not a, hey, you need to run this on offense or you need to do that. Like, this comes down to the players right now. Yeah, you just gotta, simple you gotta, stuff. You've got to catch a pass. Bickers, gotta, yep. Bickerstaff hits the second free throw after missing the first. Jalen Carey will come in for him. 45-33, the Dukes, 13-47 to play. Tyler Wall inbounds to Kamari McGee. Golden winner, A.J. Store, Max Klesman rounding out the five on the floor for the Badgers. McGee, front court left, right hand toss for Wall. He was off to Klesman on the right wing. Friedel defends. Now Winter, left of the circle. Hands off to Store, feeds Wall. It's like a hot potato right now with these guys. Wall gives the Max. Contested three straight on. It's an air ball. Wide right caught by McGee. Shot clock is at five. Kamari right wing back out the max. Looking up at the shot clock. And one pump. Now shooting a three and hitting it as the shot clock was about to expire. 4-3 of the half for Klesman. 45-36 James Madison. 13-08 to play. Maybe that's one you circle. Michael Green will start the offense now against Kamari McGee. Green edge of the midcourt logo. Left hand dribble. Shuffles in the lane. Gives it to Carey low on the right. And now it's Wooden wide open low on the left. Slam dunk. 47-36 James Madison. 12.45 remaining. McGee gets a high screen from Winter. Now Wall throws to Klesman. Fakes left. Moves right. Baseline hangs in the air. Throws it out to McGee. Kamari off the left wing in the lane. Pushed it up off the glass. No, but a foul of the bailout variety. Kamari McGee will go to the free throw line. Raquan Horton called for the, f or check that. It's on uh, Michael Green. That'll be his second. 
this point in the season, you don't care if it's a bailout. You don't care what it is as long as it goes your way. You take it. You take it. And that's exactly what Wisconsin's doing right now. The 10 of 16 this season at the free throw line. Shoots two and misses the first two long. Hepburn and Crowell coming in for Wisconsin. Winter in store check out. Badgers down 11 with 12.34 remaining. Second free throw for Kamari McGee. Missed 11 games with that toe injury. The Badgers went 4-7 and seven without him. Second free throw is good. And it's 47-37 James Madison with 12 and a half minutes to play. Michael Green takes a dribble across center court. Left of the lane, he goes, whistles one inside to Horton, low on the left, muscles it up, rimming no, rebound, Horton tries again and scores it. Well, they are just out strapping Wisconsin right now, and they've been all night. 49-37, James Madison, 12.08 to play. Klesman slips it into Wall, low on the right, pushed it up and out, but a foul. <laughs> oh, poor Tyler, they had a lid on the bucket here. Wouldn't the foul, that is his second. If we were playing hockey, the red light would have went off. <laughs> Westwood guys are laughing at you. You're, you're, you're dying over here. <laughs> dying is say, right. Say, Brian, you all right? <laughs> Tyler Wall. They haven't seen me call games before. There's pens all over the place. Wall at the foul line. Badgers down 12, 12.04 to play. First free throw for Wall is no good. Terrence Edwards will come in, replacing Julian Wooden. Wisconsin, 4 of 10 on layups today. Mm-hmm. Tonight. It just, like you said, there's a lid on the basket at times. Second free throw coming up for Wall. Missing the first. 2 of 3 at the line in this game. Second attempt is good. So he has 5 points. 49-38, James Madison. Coming up on 12 minutes to play in Brooklyn. The winner of this game plays Duke on Sunday. Michael Green outside right. Carry the high screen. Green left-hand dribble left of the lane. Hooks a pass right side. Horton drives baseline. And throws one out of bounds. Buzzing one past the outstretched hands of Michael Green as we hit the under 12. Media timeout. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation reminds you to always drive sober. Zero in Wisconsin. Together we can save lives. Learn more at zero in Wisconsin. Gov. And Sitco Top Tier Tri Clean Gasoline helps your engine run smoother and cleaner along the way. When you start with Sitco, you're good to go. 11.50 remaining. James Madison 49, Wisconsin 38. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Life's better with an auto policy from American Family Insurance. No matter what dreams you're driving towards. That's because our expert agents will make you feel totally protected with the right auto coverage at the right price. You'll also save up to 23% when you bundle auto with home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. It's Ford Truck Month. Are you ready? And we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series. Are you ready? Featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. Celebrate with us, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Based on 1977 to 2023 industry reported total sales. Hey friends, Matzo Matt here for Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza. Does it seem like you're camping in the forest of complaints when it comes to your kids and dinner time? Phrases like, what even is that? And, we're having that again? Or, seriously, are getting tossed around like a frisbee at the beach. I know you want to break free from the barrage of bemoaning, so toss in a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza for dinner tonight. That thin crust, delicious sauce, and mountain of mozzarella will have the kids singing your praises at dinner time. Snag a Brew Pub Lots and Mott's Pizza today from the freezer section in your local grocery store. 
Hustle is what it takes to dominate, and it's exactly what built Ford Tough Trucks were made to do. Check out the F-150 or the Super Duty at your Wisconsin Ford dealer today. 11 minutes, 50 seconds to play. James Madison keeping its distance here, led by 13 at the half. Leads by 11 now, 49-38 over Wisconsin. Wall, McGee, Klesman, Crowell, and Hepburn. The five on the floor for the Badgers. Wisconsin will be on offense. And at some point, Wisconsin's going to have to put together a couple of strings of stops. Offensively, yes, yes they're going to have to score the basketball. They're playing much better already. The, the ball's moving. They're finding each other. But defensively, they're going to have to find it. Presses on. Wall looking, looking. Darts it across half court for Crowell. Feeds McGee. Kamari driving to the rim. Layup is good. They break the press, get the bucket, and pull within nine. And here's Xavier Brown up the floor for James Madison. Feeds Jalen Carey, top of the circle. It's it high on the left for Terrence Edwards. He's off to Brown. Quick pass, Carey at the top. Crowell is guarding him. Carey finds it, trying to get a back cutting green and threw it away along the right baseline. Out of bounds to Wisconsin, 11 23 remaining. That's one. And you got to start somewhere. Yeah. That's that's one. Different programs have different terminology, but you always like to get three in a row. And the goal for James Madison is to get seven such per game. Badgers, their goal is six. Here's Wall off the left wing. Tyler stops one pump, two pumps, goes up off the glass and rim. No good. Carry the rebound. Tyler is having trouble buying one here tonight. Here's Brown. Gives off to Michael Green. Green snaps off a three. Left of the circle. It's off the back rim. No good. Rebound Edwards reaching over Hepburn. Edwards mid post right. Backing on Chucky. In the lane. Pivots. Up right hand. No. Rebound. Wall tips it. Crowd gathers. 10.45 to play. 49 to 40. James Madison. Hepburn left sideline. Flips to Crowd between the circles. He trying to back cut, can't get loose. Crow picked up the dribble, darts at the Hepburn, high on the left. Chucky to the line, down the lane, and he got fouled on the take. And the team foul number three on James Madison. Ten minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Raekwon Horton called for that foul, by the way, his second. Friedel in, Green out, 49-40, James Madison with 10 and a half minutes to play. Hepburn baseline right and an illegal screen. Trying to spring Hepburn, they get Crowell for the illegal screen. And the Badgers wasting a possession. First foul on Crowell and the fourth on Wisconsin. Gotten two stops in a row, right, but two empty possessions. 49-40, James Madison with 10.25 to play. Terrence Edwards will walk it up. Lesman waits for him at half court. Carry the screen. Edwards will use it. Right hand dribble. Lost his balance. Flips the pass away to Friedel. Now feeds Carey left elbow. A throw to Horton. Dribbles off the left wing. In the paint. Kick out Brown. Deep three right side. Offensive, Offensive yes. foul on the screen there from Raekwon Horton. That'll be his third and the team's fourth. And Kamari McGee does a great job of making sure to still be in and then close out and because of that that's where the offensive foul comes picker staff in carry out 10.07 to play 49 to 40 james madison wall throwing to klesman who's at four threes in this second half max at the top pivots needs help flips at the hip burn at the mid court center circle Chucky now driving right of the lane. Hits the brakes. Tossed it back out the crowd. Ten to shoot. Inside. Tough pass for Wall. No chance. No chance. Another turnover. Here's Friedel. Lead feed Edwards. Blows off the left wing. Goes up. Got foul. I mean, that. There's no chance. You can't. So he makes the pass from up top. Over the top when the help side's there. The angle's not there. Jordan Love couldn't have made that pass. No. Nope. Foul on Crowell, his second. 17 Wisconsin turnovers now. That's a pass. Yeah. This, what? Terrence Edwards going to the free throw line. He will shoot two. And he's good with the first. Store will come in. McGee is out. 50 to 40, James Madison with 941 remaining. Thirteen points for Edwards. He is three of five at the free throw line. 
Second free throw for the 6'6 redshirt junior out of Atlanta, the Sun Belt Conference Player of the Year, and the second free throw rattles in. So back to an 11-point lead for the Dukes. Here's Hepburn against Xavier Brown. Chucky to the front court, right lane line. Throws at the store, low on the right. Powers it up and in. It counts on a foul. And one for A.J. Store. Badgers within nine. Again, 9.34 to play. Can they get this to six? Can they get it to five with about six minutes left? With the foul on Edwards, his third. Horton comes out. Julian Wooden is back in. Store with eight points. He's needed 11 shots to get there. Three out of 11. He's two of three at the foul line. And I said, can they? But that's what they've got to be telling each other. Get this to six with six to play. Free throw is good. 51-43, James Madison. 9.30 remaining. Xavier Brown throwing to Edwards. Left wing. He'll flip to Bickerstaff, leaves it for Wooden. They rotate right side, Xavier Brown. Left hand dribble, left elbow, pulls, pops, miss, but a foul. And Brown will shoot a pair. With 9.19 to play. Chucky Hepburn just picked up the foul, and that is his fourth. John Blackwell will be coming in. Xavier Brown, a 66% free throw shooter, is good with the first. Blackwell in for Hepburn. Back to a nine-point lead for the Dukes. Nine minutes, 19 seconds to play. 52-43, James Madison. That's a tough one. He's coming off the jump shot. You can't follow a jump shot. Just the second free throw to Brown. Score the rebound. 9.15 to play. 52-43 James Madison. Plesman gets a wall screen to the right wing. Max still on the dribble. Retreats. They give off the crowd. Refeeds Klesman. Bounce pass wall. Baseline right. He gets doubled. Now Max has it. Right point. A bump. A play on. Klesman has it. Knocked you away. Bickerstaff the foul. Whew. Well, maybe, let's see, they call it. It's definitely on James Madison. Yes. With 8.57 remaining. Both teams with six fouls. The foul's on Friedel. That's his third. 8.57 remaining. 52-43. James Madison leading Wisconsin. Blackwell baseline left looking. Finds Klesman. Left corner. Catch and shooting at three. Hit it again. Five threes in the second half for Klesman. And the Badgers inching a little closer here. 52-46, James Madison. Brown against Blackwell. Left foul line extended. Feeds Bickerstaff. Rotates Friedel high on the right. Badgers are now within six. Throw to Wood. Three-shot right corner. Off the rim. No good. Crowd the rebound. Eight and a half minutes to play. 52-46, James Madison. Max Klesman to the front court. Feeling it here in the second half. Klesman against Brown. Three in the air. In and out. No good. Rebound battled for. Gathered by T.J. Bickerstaff. Of James Madison. Now Edwards front court of the right side. With 8-10 to play. Edwards off the Bickerstaff screen. In the lane. Floater left hand. Missed it. Rebound. Crowell had it. Lost it. Blackwell's there. And the freshman out of Michigan to the left sideline front court. Throws it to Max right side. Max down the lane to the rim. Layup. No. Off the right side iron. Rebound James Madison. Xavier Brown whips to the Friedel. Catching shooting a three. And he hit it. Just like that, the momentum swings. 55, make that 55 to 45, James Madison. They corrected the score. They gave Wisconsin 45. Ten-point lead, James Madison. Seven and a half minutes to play. Crowl bounces the wall, posting, finds the cutter. Blackwell low on the left, goes up, got fouled by Friedel. That'll be his fourth as we're at the under eights media timeout so we will take a break our coverage of the badgers in the postseason is brought to you by everlight solar save money save the planet 729 remaining james madison 55 wisconsin 45 this is badger basketball from learfield 
at Shields. We know the basketball season is a full court press from tip off to final buzzer. Each game presents an opportunity to see your Badgers take the court and compete for the win. So be there for every second to show your support head to toe in Wisconsin red and white. Shields has partnered with the Wisconsin Badgers to provide your favorite fan gear. So visit Shields in store or online to start every game with a slam dunk. Shields, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics and basketball fans everywhere. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace! SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Block him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Lots of insurance companies make promises about how much you can save if you switch over to them. Well, here's our promise. With the West Bend policy, you can save everything. Every memory. Every detail. Everything you've worked so hard for. Once it comes time to actually make a claim, a cheap insurance policy can really cost you. Why not protect everything that matters with a policy from West Bend? Because the worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Here in Brooklyn, it's James Madison 55, Wisconsin 45. At first, they were flashing a three on the scoreboard for Klesman to get Klesman to give Wisconsin 46. They were correcting it on the board. The officials looking at it here, and they're still looking at the still, monitor. Yeah. At the moment, it's still a 10-point lead for James Madison. And the officials have been spending a lot of time over there at the scores table. And we'll keep it at the moment to 55-45, James Madison leading Wisconsin. The Badgers are 9 of 16 from the field in the second half. The Dukes 8 of 18. Uh, you look at that drive that Max had too and a little bit of a missed layup. Missed layup there. Comes down, they bang a three. It kind of feels like that's how the game's gone. Yeah. Yeah, just hung on the rim and fell off on that drive for Max. So there they are going to get, it looks like Max will get a three. So it's now 55-46 after all. James Madison's lead is nine. In the meantime, John Blackwell will be at the foul line for two shots. The foul on Friedel is his fourth. He's on the bench with four. Likewise, Chucky Hepburn for Wisconsin. Blackwell, two out of three at the line tonight. First free throw is good. 55-47, James Madison. 7.29 to play. Second free throw coming up for Blackwell. The 6-4 freshman out of Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Free throw is good. 55-48, James Madison. Seven and a half minutes remaining. Badgers fans are up here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. Michael Green to the front court. Dukes move to our left in the second half. Green slips the pass. Wood low on the left. Goes up over Crowell and in. 57-48, James Madison. 7-12 remaining. Blackwell throwing to Crowell up top. Crowell against T.J. Bickerstaff. Stevie goes off to Klesman on the left side. Picked up the dribble, gets it to Wall, flips the store. A.J. top side, bounce pass Wall against Wooden. Trying to work the baseline, Wooden cut him off, six to shoot. Store lost the handle, another turnover for A.J., and then a foul is called. It has been a rough night for A.J. here. He picked up the foul. He's Another Just turnover. Tried, yeah, yeah, I mean, it was a turnover, and again, it's an unforced turnover. There's two purple jerseys right in front of you. You can't go. 18 turnovers for Wisconsin now. Julian Wooden goes to the foul line for a one and one. Nine point lead, James Madison, 6.49 to play. Wooden with 10 points, and he hits the front end. One more coming. 79% free throw shooter. Two of three at the foul line tonight. 58-48, James Madison. Second free throw for the 6'8", 
Fifth year senior, and he hit them both. 59 48, James Madison, 6.45 to play. Lesman up top. That is Raquan Horton throwing to Tyler Wall, top of the circle. Wall against Wooden, darts a pass, store left wing. AJ off the wing, slipped to the wall, low on the left shot, blocked by Edwards, and it comes down to Bickerstaff. And another empty for Wisconsin. Michael Green out high. Green whips it to Horton. Off the right wing. Takes it above the arc. Leads it for Terrence Edwards. 59-48. James Madison. 6-14 remaining. Edwards gets a screen from Bickerstab. Whips it to Wooden. High on the right. Now it's Green right side. Green off the Bickerstaff screen. And roll. Bickerstaff open. Up. Missed it. But a foul. And we get Klesman for the foul. Hard landing for Bickerstaff. He will shoot two with 6.03 to play. And now James Madison has taken advantage of the pick and roll defense for Wisconsin. They're being able to, they're, they're hitting that pocket pass so easily. Mm -hmm. and, and Steve is right in the middle of, of no man's land, to be honest. He's not up. He's not down. He's kind of right there in the middle. And they're able to put that ball right in that pocket. And. We've seen the last couple of possessions for James Madison. Bickerstaff misses the first free throw. Hepburn is in for Storr. Remember Chucky now playing with four fouls. Second free throw, Bickerstaff, good. So he splits 60 to 48, James Madison with six minutes to play. James Madison has just turned back with the Badgers are on the edge of a run. Here's Hepburn throwing to Crowell at the top. Nothing inside, one dribble to hand off to Blackwell. Bounce pass to Crow. Starting to back. Draws the double. Pinned along the baseline. Whips it out to Klesman. Klesman against Horton. And a foul out on the floor. Assessed to Horton. Team foul number eight. A one and one for Klesman. As Horton is called for the foul. That'll be his fourth. 542 remaining. 60 to 48. James Madison leading Wisconsin. And Max Klesman with 15 points. Five threes. All in the second half. He shoots a one and one. He's an 83 or make that two shot. Thought it was a one and one. But it'll be two as he hits the first. 83% free throw shooter. 60 to 49, James Madison. Dukes led by 13 at the half. And they have kept an arm's length. From Wisconsin, second free throw short, and Bickerstaff clears the rebound for James Madison. Wisconsin's got to find a way to get some stops. It's still 536 left. You, 11, you, we've seen crazier things happen, but it's got to start on this end. Michael Green left of the circle against Hepburn. High screen, Wood. Green draws, kicks, right corner three is missed, but a Not, foul. Yes. Horton fouled by Blackwell. We have just seen so many uncharacteristic errors by this yeah, team. Yeah. That's two jump shooters that that have been fouled. We haven't seen that hardly all year. Mm -mm. Yeah, you always in this tournament if you're going to get knocked out I mean knocked out because the other team Dude, beats you. James yeah, Madison is playing really well tonight but Wisconsin are, is doing but things we just haven't seen. First no. free throw good for Horton. 18 turnovers, two fouled jump shooters. There's five points from fouled jump shooters. You just haven't seen it. Second free throw good. One more coming for Raekwon Horton. 62-49, to 49, James Madison with 524 remaining. Third and final free throw coming up for Raekwon Horton, a 69% foul shooter, and he made them all. He was 6 of 7 from the line tonight. Now a 14-point lead for the Dukes. Hepburn throwing to Tyler Wall, right of the circle. Wall picks up the dribble, hands off to Klesman, and a foul on Horton, just trying to disrupt the dribble handoff, and he is fouled out of the game. He will finish with eight points, six of them coming at the free throw line. 5.15 to play, 63-49, James Madison leading Wisconsin. And a... If he took a 30, it looks like he did. A 30-second timeout taken by James Madison. 
So we've talked about it, Matt, right? Like it just it's at 14, 5, 15. We've seen crazy things happen. You, you mentioned what has happened on this day to Freddie Owens game winner. Ben Brust kind of knocking it down. Can they tap into something on the defensive end, though? Yeah. Offensively, they've been much better this second half. They just haven't been able to stop James Madison. They've given up 30. They've scored 29. Max Klesman will be stepping to the free throw line. He's actually not a timeout, just using his time allotted to sub in. So, so yep. A one and one for Klesman. 5.15 to play, 63 49, James Madison. First free throw of a one and one for Max is good, and one more coming. 63 to 50. James Madison leading Wisconsin. Second free throw coming up for Klesman. Made the first and made the second. 63 51, the Dukes with 515 remaining. Michael Green will bring it up the floor. Green high screen from Bickerstaff. The throw to Bickerstaff at the top. Rotates to Friedel high on the right. Blackwell defending. Now it's Wood off the right wing, in the lane, stops, fades, fires, off the left side, iron, no good. Rebound wall, outlet Hepburn, 4.55 to play. Badgers down 12. Hepburn feeds Crowd. Top of the circle. Now gives to Wall. Now swings to Hepburn. Baseline right, step back, three, good for Chucky Hepburn. 63-54. James Madison, 4.35 remaining. Here's Michael Green inching through the center circle of the front court. High screen Wood. That's past Terrence Edwards. High on the right. Edwards against Klesman. Now picked up by Crowell in the switch. Edwards throwing to Wood. Rotates Green. Three in the air. Right side is good for Michael Green. 66-54. James Madison. 4-10 to play. Hepburn out high for Wisconsin. Chucky between the circles. Throwing to Crowell. Takes the hand off to Hepburn. Foul across the top of the arc. Now to Klesman. Max whips it to Blackwell. He'll take a three. And it's off the rim. No good. Rebound. Bickerstaff of James Madison with 3.50 remaining. 66-54. James Madison leading Wisconsin. Edwards outside left against Klesman. Edwards starting to back. Backing on Klesman. Still backing. Backing mid post left in the lane goes up right hand banked it missed it crowd the rebound three and a half minutes to play 66 54 James Madison Now here's Blackwell baseline left twisting throws one up and it's off the back rim no good Bickerstaff the rebound 318 to play Badgers down 12 they're running out of time yeah and they had it to nine they James Madison went with a pick and roll. Chucky had to help, and then they swung it to the corner where the help came from. It was good offense by James Madison. Michael Green against Blackwell. Shot clock at 10. Game clock now three minutes. Green high on the left. Shot clock at five. Green right-hand dribble and lobs it off the glass. Gets the picker step, throws it up and in. If that play doesn't explain how tonight's gone. That's your dagger, perhaps. And a turnover, a lead feed to Green down the lane. Layup, no good. Wall the rebound with 2.40 to play. Wall long pass to Hepburn. Chucky for three, right of the circle, and it's good. Timeout, Wisconsin. Hepburn for three, 68-57. James Madison with two minutes and 33 seconds to play. Greg Gard using a timeout, and this will be a full timeout. Our coverage of the Badgers in the postseason brought to you by Everlight Solar. Save money, save the planet. 2.33 to play. James Madison 68, Wisconsin 57. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. Life's better with a home policy from American Family Insurance because you'll feel protected no matter how the wind blows. All so you can keep enjoying the home of your dreams. And our expert agents can help you save up to 23% when you bundle home with auto. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. Get a quote? Find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. 
It's Ford Truck Month. Are you ready? And we're celebrating 47 years as the best selling trucks in America with special once a year offers on Ford F Series. Are you ready? Featuring the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the 2024 North American Truck of the Year. Celebrate with us, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Based on 1977 to 2023 industry reported total sales. Famous Wurstmachers Bob and Tony in the Smokehouse. Ah, beef, summer sausage, and salami. And because they're from Usingers, you know they're the best. Made with all lean beef and imported spices, cured and smoked the old world way. Because quality has been Usinger's number one ingredient for more than a century. Ah. <laughs> Made right here in Milwaukee since 1880. Usinger's, America's finest Worcester. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you bet. Life's better with an auto policy from American Family Insurance. No matter what dreams you're driving towards. That's because our expert agents will make you feel totally protected with the right auto coverage at the right price. You'll also save up to 23% when you bundle auto with home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote, find an agent at AmFam.com. Products not available in every state. Visit AmFam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, S.I. and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Two minutes, 33 seconds left in the game. James Madison, 68, Wisconsin, 57. Chucky Hepburn hitting a three. Greg Gard using a timeout. He still has two available. There's a lot of things throughout this game, but it really comes down to 19 turnovers. James Madison had comfortable. They got comfortable. They didn't play great first half offensively either, James Madison. You, they were still in it, Wisconsin was. And now you, know, you look at what they've got to do. They've got to try to force some steals and extend this game. The only thing that you know is going their way is that James Madison is not a great free throw shooting team. As far as percentage, they're 240th in the country. Presses on. Wooden a long throw. Friedel trying to run it down, and he does. Underneath the hoop, gives off to Edwards. Left of the lane. Now they can start running clock. Julian Wooden against Blackwell near the midcourt logo. Now Friedel high on the right. 2.20 to play. Friedel against Storr. 13 to shoot. Green outside left. Shot clock at 10. 2.13 of the game clock. Green getting a screen from Bickerstaff. Right-hand dribble. Slips it into Bickerstaff. Left block. Jump stop. In the lane. Knocked away. Got it back. One to shoot. Pinballed around. Out of bounds. Shot clock. No. They're going to say out of bounds. The to shot a, clock. The shot clock hit zero. They were saying out of bounds. Last touch by Wisconsin. But the shot clock is at zero. There was Now they're going to... They're going to look at the monitor probably for you know, possession and then shot clock time. And while they do that, we may need another full timeout. I believe that will be the case, and we will. We'll take another break while they sort it out. 2.02 to play. James Madison 68, Wisconsin 57. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. Save big money now at Menards. Menards has the best in-stock selection of AC2 pressure-treated decking and lumber. AC2 pressure-treated thick decking is 15% thicker than standard 1-inch decking, providing a stronger, more durable deck surface. Plus, get free estimates fast in-store or online with our deck design programs and conveniently pick up your materials in our drive through lumber yard. Head into Menards and get started on your deck project today. Save big money at Menards. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. WEABenefits.com what happens when you call your insurance company? If you have water in your basement, press 1. Most big companies have a recorded message or an app. If you are in your living room and see sky when you look up, press 2. But when something bad happens, you just want to talk to a person. On a day like that, that phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst brings out our best. If there is a tree in your bedroom, press 3. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. 
The All of Us Research Program in Wisconsin aims to speed up medical research by asking Wisconsinites to share health information. Learn more at allofus.wisc.edu. Two minutes, three seconds left in the game. It will be Wisconsin basketball. James Madison, 68, Wisconsin, 57. It was a shot clock violation. Yes. Which I thought was very clear when that happened. It seemed like it would not have warranted a review, but it, it did. And I'm just glad they got it right. They just, the all just, about getting, all, yeah, all totally about well, getting yeah. it right. Yep. Might have had it right during the game, but it's all right. Wisconsin ball one way or the other. <laughs> well, can they make up 11 points in two minutes, three seconds? Let's find out. They got it briefly to within six in the second half. And no closer. Here comes Chucky Hepburn for Wisconsin with two minutes to play. Hepburn throwing to Blackwell. Back to Hepburn between the arcs. Sends the wall. Tyler backing low on the right. Goes up. Got foul. And the wall goes to the foul line with a minute 52 to play. And they get Julian Wooden with his third foul. Well, if you're going to come back, you score with the clock stopped. That's part of yep. it. So, okay, number one. A lot of things that can have to go your way with a minute 52 and try to come back. This is the first thing you need to do. Score with the clock stop. It's actually the fourth foul on Wooden. Wall three out of four at the foul line. 5.6 rebounds. First free throw is off the rim. Hangs in the front of the rim and falls out. No good. Amari McGee will be checking back in for Wisconsin in for Hepburn. One more free throw coming up for Tyler Wall. Eyes the rim, sends it, and missed that as well. Rebound tip, score back taps out the wall. And a reset, Klesman. Max left in the lane, drives the paint. Now to McGee, three in the air right side. Off the rim and out, no good. Store the rebound, back up, no good. Another inside shot missed. Bickerstaff trying to come out of there. Taken away by Klesman, snaps off a three. And that's halfway down, popped out, no good. Rebound, Friedel and James Madison with a minute and a half to play, and a foul is called. Or a timeout actually taken by James Madison, so no foul. A timeout taken with a minute 30 remaining, 68-57, James Madison leading Wisconsin. You had every look you wanted on that possession there. You had layups, you had a wide open three, and none of it dropped. We'll keep it here. Our timeouts are exhausted. Well, you get to the point where you're approaching the end and Tyler Wall knows that the clock is ticking on his career at Wisconsin. It's been a really, really good one. 121st career start here tonight. Senior out of Lakeville, Minnesota. Averaged 11 points, 5.5 rebounds per game. Well, he's done it the way you know, you're supposed to. Just come in and work and get better mm -hmm. and yep. improve and improve and improve. And that's exactly what he's done. And the Badgers will need a little miracle now with 90 seconds remaining. Down 11. Terrence Edwards will inbound. Klesman up in its face. Presses on for the Badgers. Inbounds pass to Michael Green. Blackwell trying to stop him. Green in the backcourt. Green harassed by Blackwell. Blackwell then fouls him, and that's team foul number 10 for Wisconsin. And the fourth on Blackwell, so the Dukes now in the double bonus. With a minute 24 remaining. 11-point lead, James Madison, 68-57. to 57. And Michael Green at the free throw line, where he is one of two. He has nine points in the game. First free throw is good. Hepburn in for Kamari McGee. 69-57, James Madison. Yeah, and you've said it, Matt, a lot, but it, you, you lose games at times, but you got to do it, you know, the way you normally play all year long. Yeah. It just was it. No, they were anything but themselves tonight. Second free throw good for Green. I think that's the, that's the thing that's most frustrating right now. Yep. 
Yeah, you want to go out taking a hard swing, and that just has not happened for Wisconsin tonight. But credit James Madison. They came out popping, and Wisconsin got staggered. Here's Klesman to the line. Floater in the lane is off the rim and out no good. Ball tipped in the air. Brown pulls it down. Blackwell knocks it loose. Store is there to gather. A.J. in the lane. Flipped it up and in with a right hand. Timeout, Wisconsin. 70 to 59, James Madison with 107 to play. With that, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification, 10 for an ID. This is Badger Basketball from Learfield. One oh seven remaining in Brooklyn. James Madison seventy, Wisconsin fifty nine. Great guard using another timeout. He has one available. A game where the Dukes really have been in control throughout. Had as much as a twelve point run, led by as many as seventeen late in the first half. They've led the whole game. Yes, they have. 19 Wisconsin turnovers tonight. The press is on. Klesman up into the face of Terrence Edwards. Shuffles to his left. Looking. Flips it to his right. Friedel chased by Storch. Trying to knock it away, but A.J. fouled him. And that will be the second for Storr and Noah Friedel, who's had a quiet night. They haven't needed him to be noisy. Six points in the game. He's hit a couple of threes. He's an 86% free throw shooter. The Dukes tonight, 19 to 28 at the foul line. First free throw is good for Friedel. Hepburn back in for McGee. Bickerstaff subs in for Michael Green. 12-point lead, James Madison with 65 seconds to play. Scott's done a good job at the three-point line with James Madison, too. Five of 17. They've only allowed him shooting 29%. If you were to tell me they shoot 29%, I would say Wisconsin will win. Yeah. No free throws good. 72-59. James Madison here in the final minute in Brooklyn. Hepburn left-hand dribble to the line. In the lane. Runs it out. Blackwell. Three in the air. Left corner is off the rim. No good. Rebound pulled down by Xavier Brown. And a dribble out of traffic releases to Terrence Edwards. Edwards head up on the move to the front court. And now circles back out. Store is chasing. In they go to Friedel with 42 seconds to play. Friedel in the lane. Bounces it outside. To Xavier Brown. They'll continue to milk the clock. Shot clock is at 8. James Madison fans in for a party here tonight in Brooklyn. Three to shoot, two to shoot. A.J. gets a steal. Chased by Friedel. Store in the lane. The layup is good for A.J. Store. 72-61. James Madison down to 20 seconds to play. Friedel dribbles through the defense to the line. Whips it in the lane. Now Wood peels it back out. Xavier Brown. They try to hold the ball. They'll dribble out the clock. And James Madison will advance to Sunday to take on the Duke Blue Devils. And James Madison earned this one, exclamation point tonight. Clearly the better team in Brooklyn. The representatives out of the Sun Belt Conference, James Madison wins it by 11. That's what makes the tournament so tough, Matt, is it, it comes to an end so quick. And when you don't think it's going to happen. A bitter end for Wisconsin. We have talked about it. If they could somehow have found a way to bottle the way they played in the Big Ten tournament on into the NCAA, but recent history in the Big Ten has been anything but. Illinois advanced yesterday, but Wisconsin unable to advance out of the first round. The latest victim in a 12-5 game as the Badgers bow out here in round one of this NCAA tournament. Final score, James Madison, 72, Wisconsin, 61. We're back with the Wisconsin Four Dealers postgame show in a couple of minutes. This is Badger basketball from Learfield. Babes, what are you doing? What? I'm just mowing the lawn. 